It is the Mike Calvary Show. It's 1025 The Bone. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, November 7, 2024. We are coming to you live. How's everybody doing today? Good. Yes. Merry Christmas. Hey. Oh, do you have one? Right now, I am enjoying the sugar cookie oh. almond latte Ooh. from Starbucks. Wow. That's interesting. It's the most wonderful <laughs> time of the My wife uh, texted me on the way home yesterday, and uh, she was like, can you grab me a coffee? And I'm like, yeah, no problem. There's a new sh- cookie thing. Duncan has it, too. Yeah. Does that have cookie crumbles on top and stuff? Or you is that- are talking about the cookie butter crumble. Oh, <laughs> this guy knows. Oh, <laughs> maybe, yeah. You may be coffee oh. guy. And it is, uh, cookie guy. Yeah, it's yeah. at Duncan, and it is delicious. I gotta tell you, I smelled it, because it's got, like, cream stuff, yeah, and sure. it's got like, cookie crumble, and this and that. And I'm so... I, I pull up to the thing. I, I don't drink coffee, so I never really order it unless I'm getting it for my wife. And I tell her to be very specific with the order, because I don't want to mess it up. And so I go... Hello. <laughs> I go, you guys have a new cookie cold brew? And yep. she goes, yes. And I go, one, please. <laughs> like, I don't know what else. And she's like, okay, okay what size? And I go, large. <clears throat> and uh, then she said, my wife said, light cream, no sugar. So I got that. But yeah, it, no sugar in the cookie butter cold cream. <laughs> I'm I, sure I, it's sweet <laughs> enough, right? It, it may have some in there. Yeah. It may have some in there. Oh, man. Yeah, and all their signage is all holidays now. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's here, the man. most wonderful, wonderful time. Of the it year. makes me so happy as opposed to Halloween. Yeah. Uh, this I'll describe it. This tastes like a winter wonderland explosion in my mouth. Oh, wow. <laughs> it is fantastic. Uh, it tastes her. like Santa Claus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's fantastic. It makes me want to go shopping. And oh, feel yeah. Festive. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. It makes me want to go dance on a big <laughs> yeah. piano on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I highly recommend the sugar cookie almond milk latte. Oh, hmm. oh that's how we should decorate the studio this year. Just red cups everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, Joe, are we decorating the studio because I mean, I mean, really, it's falling into your hands now. We certainly can. Uh, oh, is that like, a Joe thing now? It's I mean, another it move be. from uh, Carmen to Joe. I mean, oh, well, Carmen's not here. She decorated yeah. that studio over there, yeah. right, Carmen? Right. And You're welcome do to do this one. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know why? Well, you. Be happy. Yeah. 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 Well, no, <laughs> I just you. Carmen oh, well, doesn't shine shoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, this year. The reason why I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't even be able to do it. All, <laughs> whoa, no! All our decorations got flooded. Oh, oh. was it a couple of years ago? It was rats. Now it's floods. Yeah. What's yeah. This? Don't forget the bees. Yeah, I was gonna say this is an apocalypse. There's gonna be no place in Egypt for a while. Soph was making the liquor tree right. in the back corner, yeah. but yeah, I missed that. Yeah, she's been around. <laughs> Soph has. Soph has. Where'd mid- Soph go? She's very busy. She's got a business to run. Joe used to go over to the liquor tree and crack one open. Oh, he's 17 more days uh, yeah. of Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to get a new puppy. I was like an advent calendar over there. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I, know. I know. They have a lot of advent calendars, man. You can do everything now. They have oh, sex yeah. toy advent calendars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you open this? Or, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway. Today is Thursday. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Hello, everybody. Yeah. So we just skip in Thanksgiving? Yeah, of course. Straight to Christmas. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing really to do with Thanksgiving. It's just like a precursor to... Yeah. The, I love the, Thanksgiving. We made you know, friends I, with the Indians. Yeah. Well, I love it. I love, But I'm saying it's like it's on the road to Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. For decoration-wise, right. yes. It's in between Thanksgiving and Christmas because you could still leave up. Like pumpkins, yeah. leaves, cornucopias, right. yeah, uh, scarecrow, pre Christmas, mm. but pre Christmas. Yeah. I found out something about Thanksgiving I said I didn't like it all. What's that? <laughs> what are you laughing at? What you're doing for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Oh, did you uh, I'm going to Georgia. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, yeah. brother-in-law has a cabin. You there. and the bears. Mm. Me and the Jews are going, and the bears. The bear is already there. Ooh, Jew bear. Okay. Jew bears. Like uh, from uh, like what's bear you? Jew. Oh, yeah, bear Jew. Now that you're a hunter, though, you're more prepared. I'm not, I don't want to. I'm not a hunter. A pheasant. If there's pheasant. any tiny birds up there, they're yeah, dead. They're dead. <laughs> Anything that could hurt me yeah. is still a danger. No, uh, my wife was like, so do you want to make the turkey? And I said, oh. sure. And she was like, are you sure? I go, yeah. And she goes, because my mom volunteered to make it, but my mom was getting kind of old, and it's a lot of work to do. And I go, right, listen to me. I'm a turkey-making pro. 
Oh, I have no problem doing it. I'm got a little excited about it. Are you? Have yeah. you done it a few oh, yeah. times in the past? Can I yeah. give you one piece of advice? Not from me. Sure. From a fantastic chef that has been passed along to me. Sure. Chef Butter. Mm-hmm. Cook it upside down. He said you cook it upside down, all everything the fat and everything, all this, in, yeah, yeah, the juicy juice. Yeah, he oh. said it's really good. You know and I, I can do that, and it's fantastic. I agree with that. And right. His turkey is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But they say that that is a myth. Hmm? I, I mean, it, I like the idea, and it makes seems like it makes sense. If it would drip down, it would melt down. I did into it. The, yeah. It worked. Yeah. It was fantastic. Mm. But um, did you brine your turkey? No, I did. Uh, no, no, I did. I did. Actually, he uh, told me what stuff to get and everything, and I did all that. Yeah. I brined the turkey. I had it all going good. One year, I uh, I smoked one. One year, I, I cooked one in the oven. You know, I just kind of gone. I was all excited. And then I came home that day, and she goes, I talked to my brother. We're just going to get honey-baked ham and turkey. I was like, oh, you've been denied. So yeah. there was discussion, and they said, not Mike. Not him. Oh. Yeah. Probably. We've yeah. had his brisket. Probably. We almost yeah. died once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, the the thing is, is that um, to be honest with you, is they don't really eat meat. They're like like my brother in law is a vegan. Oh, really? His wife, yeah, and uh, and I think my other brother in law doesn't care to eat whatever's there. And then my, uh, I don't know. So now we're getting honey baked ham, and I'm like, oh, Jesus, mm, no. that seems so that's un-American. unofficial. Yeah. Yeah, ham is, uh, uh, if you have ham also, that's fine, yeah. but not ham is the no. main event. No. I was, I was going to say, as a kid, I did not like turkey, and my grandma would always make me a small ham. Yeah, it's we'll, fine. But, right. that, but like, they'd always have a turkey for all the adults, right. yeah. but they'd make me a little ham. Because we'll side, side. You are a little ham. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was. Ham, yeah. I was. <laughs> well, side ham's no no problem. Yeah, no side ham, fine. Right. Main ham, no. 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 I'm not coming. That's to your house. for Thanksgiving or that's for Christmas. Nah, but no, it's coming in slices and it's coming out of a aluminum bag. And uh, yeah, this is are you getting a honey baked ham? Is that what you're? Is that what you're doing? Yes, yeah, so you're listening to. This. Yeah, all right. Oh my <laughs> god! Literally, <laughs> literally said it twice. All right. mm-hmm. Sorry, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, he's, still, not, he's still thinking about the liquor tree. Yes, yeah, yes, not I against am. the honey baked ham. Right, against the honey baked turkey. Oh, that's what I don't want. Oh we're why? Getting, getting, I don't know. It's just because you're getting it from Honey Bake, like the actual company. But they don't. They don't make like a big turkey. They make like a processed turkey. They it looks like a ham almost. Mm. It's, it's, uh, it's like a turkey kind of legs loaf. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's like a turkey loaf. Yeah. Uh, turkey that it, loaf. It, I'm sure it tastes delicious, but I, I just was is like, there. No. Uh, is there? I'm sure there is, but I'm saying uh, you should find a place up there that uh, has stuff to go. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, That'd just do that. Better. Do that. Honey baked. Yeah. Mm. Come on. Let's give it. Anyway, that's that's my plan. Unless uh, I mean, barring Geo, that I shoot something while we're out there. I know. Yeah. you will be prepared. I don't think. Doesn't. I don't think you're going to be able to eat the neighbor kid. Yeah. Uh, that's probably the only thing you're shooting. You never know. Aren't you, the cabin's like in the woods, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. May I suggest Thanksgiving? Chicken Big Mac. <laughs> no, with that, no, yeah, no. I'm not opposed to that. And I want to be awake for football. Dessert, cookie, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I'm excited about the trip, though. I think that'll be good. Yeah, but first, and you're driving, and you're driving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for now, they may kick you off the driving. You're not cooking. You're not driving. Yeah. You can vote maybe off the have, island. Maybe they have a conversation about you. You're getting old. Oh, They're like, ah, oh, he's getting old. Hey, boss, I'll bring a ham. <laughs> <laughs> I I like to drive, so I don't care about that. Mm. You know, and I don't cut to Mike in the car. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's swerving off the road. Oh, I just thought of something. Mm. I just thought of something about that Galvin. That's not very good. Highway hypnosis. No, the night before our band Pimple Toddler is playing. Oh man, oh. yeah. I got, oh. I, got, I, got, I got invited to a uh, race that next morning, and I said that ah, would be rough. I'm playing in Sarasota that night. I can't go and. I mean, I'm going to have to move it to the next day that we leave. Yeah. Hmm. Or somebody else driving. This guy's sleeping. Yeah. Just like that. You're out of driving. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I got to drive home from Sarasota to start out with. That's that's going to be rough. (laughs) We are playing at uh, Joyland on the 22nd, which is our last day. We'll have uh, that morning. We will be live at the food drive and then headed straight to Sarasota afterwards. Long day. And then we're playing that night. Uh we just giving everybody a heads up now. We are off that Wednesday, and we are and we are working the rest of that week because that Wednesday we're doing the was a rescheduled uh, um, shooting clays for the sheriff's shooting clays. So we're going out there for that. And uh, it, listen, between now and the end of the year, I got eight weeks of vacation to take that I'm not going to take. So I'm gonna wait, take a day what here Wednesday? There. The twentieth. Okay, you're off the twentieth. 
Yes. Okay. Off we the twentieth, do- and then work the twenty first, twenty second, and then we're off, then we're the, off, next off the next week. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, All right. Also, just so you guys know, well, to kind of meetings on the air, kind of go with the festivities on the twenty second when we play at Joyland. I'm filling my kick drum with mashed potatoes. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like that. Every and time then you I'm hit gonna, it. And then I'm gonna pour gravy all over the drums, Carmen. So when I hit it, it splashes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, yeah. I'm in. Like an eighties video. And Carmen, you get to break the drumstick. Right, oh, okay. do that. Yeah. You know, I'm inviting to that gig. Who? My new best friend, which Chachi. is, oh, Chachi. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Scott Mayo lives down there, and uh, probably doesn't want to be called Chachi because no, I know. Yeah. But, <laughs> listen, Chachi's a great name. It's a great name. It's, it's a, a great, great name. character. Yeah. yeah. If your name is Ralph Mouth, I wouldn't call you that. Right. But if your name is Chachi, I, uh, in fact, I can play it for you right now. Um, I watched the video that uh, Chachi made. Yeah. Um, Scott Mayo. I'm not saying that to be. As an insult, it's just that's my. Oh, we love the show. Yeah, exactly. we love the character. That's it's a great my, character. The character. If, if you have ever played, first off, if you ever played a character on TV, it's pretty cool. If you played an iconic character that you can give the nickname and everybody knows immediately who it is, of course, that's awesome. This is Scott Bayo on TikTok. Scott Bayo, uh, for those of you kids that may not know, he was a uh, television star in the seventies and eighties. He was Fonzie's nephew on Happy Days. Happy Days. Not the first nephew. No. Spike was the first nephew. I remember Spike, yeah. Spondy must have had a lot of sisters. Then um, then he had Chachi was uh, the next nephew. Then Chachi was so popular that Chachi went on to Joni Loves Chachi. Joni Loves Chachi, the spinoff, yeah. Then, and uh, in between that time, there was the movie Zapped, yep. where Chachi got powers. It wasn't Chachi. It was another kid, but yeah. he got Carmen. He got powers, and he can make girls' tops fall off. Yeah, that was what? awesome. And he did. He it should have been Chachi. He would win arcade games at like at the beach where you got to throw the rings on the bottle. Okay. He would, he would have the mental power to do that, and then he can make girls' tops fall off. <laughs> it was when you're 13 and you're oh, watching that. It's man. the greatest power the in the world. Best. <laughs> Close up the the top flies open. Yeah. Just boing, oh yeah. yeah, that's yeah. way better than the Avengers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then. <laughs> Then what do you got a hammer? Get out of here, nerd. <laughs> I wonder if Thanos would have got rid of Chachi. <laughs> no. no way. No, he was just, this one stays. No way. Yeah. And then uh then he was on uh, Charles in Charge. One of the greatest shows of all time. Where he was a uh ma- he was a man and he was a nanny for three boys. Then they were like, hmm, something's missing with this show. Took away the three boys and filled it in with three hot girls. Yeah. And he's like, now Charles is in charge. Two girl two hot girls, one boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's got to be a comic relief. And let's throw in Willie Ames. And Willie Ames, who was also in Zap. Yeah. Yeah. Who they were fantastic. like, this is such a great connection. Then over the years, Willie Ames went crazy and found Jesus. And uh, maybe one of the one of the interviews we might have done on this show that never aired. I remember that. I remember we recorded it. Yeah, I don't we, know. He was Bible man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I don't believe that we ever uh, aired that. We We recorded it, but I don't think we ever aired it. And if we did, it only aired one time. I promise you that. Uh, I remember, for some reason, I remember the joke on Charles in Charge where Williams uh, was talking about Mississippi, and he said one pillow plus one pillow equals two pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I remember that, but I just remember that being so dumb. I was like, oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> uh, then he um, he was hooking up with Pamela Anderson first yeah. before before she was tainted. Before everyone, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Scott Baio was in there. He was in there, you know, like, before she had full surgery done. Carmen, you know oh, the okay. uh, you, gotcha. you know the rumor about Scott Bayo? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big. big. Yeah, that's whoa, whoa. got a big yeah. old chachi yeah, on him. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, okay. But I, I watched this video that I'm about to play. Sixty four years old, super handsome. Yeah, yeah. super handsome. Or sixty three, maybe or whatever. Uh, this is Scott Bayo reading a list of celebrities who said they would leave if Donald Trump became president. Mm. Robert De Niro, Rob Reiner, Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, and others. From The View, Rachel Maddow, Mark Ruffalo, Mark Hamill, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, Richard Marks, I would like Alec to see Baldwin, Pink. I would like to see Mark Hamill leave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a real douchebag. And big, dumb, Bro. wet eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Ron Howard, Julia. Ron Howard. That's that's something. He just skated yeah. right over that, that Richie Cunningham must also leave the country. Here, Roberts. George Clooney, Leo DiCaprio. George Clooney, in his defense, did in fact leave the country. Been living in Italy all these years. Oprah, Cardi B, Lizzo, Ariana Grande, Billie Eilish, Jennifer Garner, 
J-Lo, Andy Cohen, Cher, Brian Cranston, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kathy Griffin, Michael Keaton, Rosie O'Donnell, John Stamos, Eva Longoria, John Legend, and his wife. Spike. I love that Chachi doesn't even dignify her with a name. John Legend and his wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's gross. Sean Astin, Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Kimmel, John Stewart, Bill Maher, Alyssa Milano, Bruce Springsteen, Barbara Streisand, Mark Cuban, and others. <laughs> All right. See you later. Uh, so long. I think the only one I would not want to lose is uh, DiCaprio. Too many good movies. And uh, and Cranston, it was a little bit of a surprise. Yeah. But was, like I said, if, if he had left, he already made Breaking Bad. What else does we need? I know, but it's just like you were, I'm just disappointed in it. I'm not mad at it. But uh, stupid Mark Hamill. Oh, you moron. Yeah. Nobody needs Luke anymore. Uh, and then uh, a lot of people have already left the country. But really, do I care what Jamie Lee Curtis does? No, I don't care. My favorite is Cardi B. Did you see the thing I posted with Cardi B? Yeah. It was a repeat. Cardi B. It was up on stage with um, with Kamala Harris, and it was a thing that said, surround yourself with smart people and then tell, you know classy people. And Cardi B tweeted, Cardi B tweeted, uh, y'all, I've been wondering what pee tastes like. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I also like Cardi B. I love when she says dumb stuff like that. She yeah. makes me laugh, so whatever. Um I don't know. Yesterday was a lot of. I enjoyed a lot of the misery. Uh, there was a lot of this face. Yeah, it was sad. Yet we'll get by. Oh, there was also a lot of. Uh, all right, but we all just need to come together now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't. I watched. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk about it in the news. But I watched Kamala Harris's um, concession speech. I thought it was very good. I thought you know it is what it is, and she she didn't go out there. She didn't go down swinging. She went down with, uh, hey, you know, we ran a good thing. We lost, and but I'm still very proud of what we did. And I thought that was acceptable, you know. And then she said, bye forever. <laughs> You'll <laughs> yeah. never see me again. Good news, bad news. I lost. Good news, I'm rich now. Now I'm just going to be out there doing speaking engagements or writing books, and that's all you're going to get from me. Yeah, I can't imagine her <clears throat> being successful again. I what? what, what? Like the poli- camp- yeah, politics? campaign politics. Yeah, when does her, she wasn't uh, really successful beforehand. No, you know she wasn't very popular in the party. When does her uh, stand-up special come out? Ooh. It's just her laughing at her own jokes. <laughs> she is that cackle is something else, man. She and she closed the the speech with it yesterday. I don't know. Listen, I'm not saying this like uh, like the world is is cured now. It's just uh, it's going to be an interesting next couple of months. Both uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden answered my question. They will both be at the inauguration. Uh-huh. Of course. Uh-huh. Why? I mean, why would you say of course? Because only Especially Trump- Kamala Harris. Because only Trump is the big baby. I don't know. You have dude. to admit that. You have to admit that. Yeah, but but having seen... Uh, listen, Trump, I'll give you, is the biggest baby. Yeah. But he's also the first baby to go, no, I'm not talking to you. Right. I'm shaking your hand. <clears throat> and, so, and that triggers other people to go, well, I'm not going to do it either. You know? St- I still think him pouting about the election... Never conceding, saying he won the whole time was, was such a bad look. Yes. Now that now that you look at it I, I, in the middle of it, I was like, what, what if it's true? What if it's yeah. just happening? You know what I mean? And a lot of other people were thinking that too. It's a, all the cheating magically disappeared yesterday. Yeah. Well, yeah, whenever you it. win, yeah, it, exactly. It, yeah. 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 If it, and literally, he t- he had been tweeting out earlier in the day, massive, massive cheating, cheating going on in Philadelphia right now yeah. and Detroit. By the way, he tweets, huh? Well, it's uh, I think it's true social, social, and then it gets repurposed on Twitter. I get what uh, Elon Musk did and, and all that, but I still I believe he ruined t- Twitter the way it is now. I can't even understand it. There's too much thing, too many now, things I'm seeing I don't want to see. Yeah, there's too much stuff that they you know pump to you through the for you and yeah. Stuff I and, have to block things that I'm like, why am I seeing this? I don't want to see yeah. this, so then I just go and block it. Not because they're mean to me. I just don't want to see it. Yeah, there's sub there the a lot of political stuff was coming through and I'm like I don't even I'm not even here for that. I right. like I'm here for sports and dumb memes and good uh, videos of people yeah. getting yeah. hit by cars. I'm yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> right. I'm like, like I don't see. know why this is this telling me this is what I need to be seeing, but I don't know. You know, as good looking as all hell. Hmm. Handsome now, but was good looking as uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. 
Oh yeah, see him? Can yeah, yeah. Him? What? A, he looked like a good-looking Jim Morrison. Right. Yeah, he looked like he should be in like Pink Floyd or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's also uh, in really good shape. Yeah. Have you ever seen him working out? Like yep. now, today, yep. sixty-something, whatever he is, he's in really good shape. And he's married to Cheryl Hines. Yes. Who did not want him to endorse Trump? No, didn't. That's want That's got to be a tough house. Yeah. I don't know. Like my wife and I are on the opposite end of the spectrum. My my, my wife comes at it from a certain point of view and she also has the well it is what it is thing now like she's not like we need to get back to starting or she's like you know uh, we, we lost big deal whatever happens the world moves on but i can't imagine what it, what it would be like to live in a house with somebody who's mad at me for voting the way i did and endorsing the the person i did and having to argue with that ah, you gotta understand <laughs> uh, <laughs> i got worms in my head ah. That poor guy had everything working against him. He picked up a bear that yeah. was on the side of the road. Imagine he was the best candidate and he would not win because of his voice. Yeah. It's so we're hey, so listen, dumb. It's the same way we're never going to have a fat president. Oh, I think you're wrong about that. Nah, I don't think so. It depends we on, had fat presidents, yeah, but not anymore. Not now. But it depends on the fatness. Like, like what's his name was too fat? Christy? Yeah, like Johnny B. When Johnny B. was fat, he was odd-shaped. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But if you get a guy like a Grover Cleveland, where yeah. it's just a big guy, like a, with like a, if you're going to tell me that if a guy emerges from Wisconsin and he's like, I spend, I spend years working the, in the cheese curd factory and uh, turn that cheese curd factory around and they call him old like Big Buford. Yeah. Then I, I see President Buford being being in there. Uh, can I point out? Trump is fat. Yeah, he is fat. <laughs> but he's borderline. Yeah. And, and he he's hi- bore- he he's, hides it well. He's, he's fat, fat like Geo's fat. He is fat. No. Yeah. Oh. no. I, I, I've stood next to him. He's not really yeah, fat. That was years ago. I mean... Uh-huh. When, when we both got fatter. When he's not wearing like layers and in a suit, like when he's on the golf course, he's yeah, fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's, looks fat in he's that shirt. Dump, he's dumpy. And remember when the doctor said he was medically obese <laughs> yeah. and he lost his mind? Well, and then they said that he's 6'3", 215 <laughs> yeah. or whatever, like every football player. It's like, are you though? <laughs> he's the, the as close to fat as you can get and still be president. It is funny because they will say about different football players, uh, and there are some that are the same exact height and weight as me, and I go, Man, we wear it different, don't we? (laughs) (laughs) That is a different look on you. (laughs) It's crazy because most of America is fat. Oh yeah, but you they're not going to vote for a fat president. Like I don't think I don't think the uh, those two fat brothers that look like fat Dan Marinos, the lawyers that are on TV. I don't think they could ever be president. No, but I think that like one of the fairest. I don't think they're any fatter than Trump. Oh, yeah, I think they're. I don't think so. They yeah. look like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Uh, I, I mean, I know what you're talking about. You're talking like dumpy fat. Yeah. Trump looks like he's melting. Trump, <laughs> Trump's got it all in his belly. Listen, and his I'm ass. telling you right now, if you saw Trump with his shirt off, you'd go, "Whoa!" Yeah, because like when he wears those uh, sh- polo shirts on the golf course, he's got the man boobs. Right, he's got the exactly. Yeah. He's also seventy something well, years yeah, old. No, I get yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying that's, a, that's gravity working against you as well. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not mad at him for being fat. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I, I think, honestly, I think that if somebody came out that was fat, like old school president fat, like a Taft, I mean, they would have to have an amazing platform campaign promises, but but he also has a little little round glasses. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said fair and fair. fair. He has a little spectacle. I still disagree. Fat people don't even get through the primaries, but I I gotta be honest with you. I think if somebody was fat, but like really smart. Really uh, personable and stuff. You'd be like, yeah, all right, fat. Who cares? <laughs> like, who, <laughs> though? like who's famous? Oh, I don't know anybody. I well, think uh, of somebody who's fat and famous, like uh, like a Jack Black. No, nah, I mean he's too goofy. And no, stuff. no, but I'm saying like, body wise, body size wise, or like who would be a good? I'm trying to think of a fat level. Yeah, yeah. Who's super fat? John Goodman. Yeah, well, Goodman's skinny now. Yeah, yeah but uh, uh, John Goodman and his... Goodman, uh, Goodman played the president on uh, West Wing. Uh-oh. There was a thing, whenever the president had to go, and he was the speaker, and he became president for like a week or something. Right. He was fantastic on there, obviously. <laughs> it's I love John Goodman. But he's very presidential, too. Yeah. Him in a suit. He, I mean, if got he, the great voice. He knows what he's talking about and this and that. You'd be like, oh, yeah, Goodman's in there. Yeah. I remember this past election cycle when Chris Christie dropped out, Trump tweeted out the picture of him at the buffet. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so What's good. worse, buffet or the baseball pants? 
<laughs> right. Well, and here's the thing about Christy. Yeah. Christy's dumpy fat and wears his pants so high. He's like you're just a nerd. Like you tip him over and he can't get back up off his shell. But I think he's a perfect example when you hear him speak and what he's talking about. He's a very smart guy, but he's just fat. Mm-hmm. But he's also, yes, I agree, but he's also trying to be funny, trying to be a yeah. tough guy. I'm Jersey. Blah, blah, blah. And you're like, <laughs> shut <laughs> up. If he was skinnier, if he was skinny, he would be one of the front runners. Yeah. I don't say he'd win, but he'd be up there. He'd get a lot farther if he was not so fat. Yeah, because if you're doing those things and you're not Didn't a fat, surgery? and you're not a fat dumpy dude, I don't know. I think he better. did. I, I feel like he's just embraced being fat. Oh my uh. god, Joe is showing the picture. <laughs> it, it's worse than you think. Which yeah. one? You know what I mean? The baseball. Oh, the, no, baseball. the baseball one's terrible because you can see his little penis too. Yeah. yeah, and it looks like a uh, like a cartoon. It looks like a chicken in a baseball uniform. You know what I mean? It's got <laughs> once that happens, you fire your entire staff immediately. Yeah. Like nobody, yeah, but, uh, nobody that's told the staff me. that took the picture. But I mean, like they nobody told me not to wear the baseball suit. Right? They you dressed never, him. You never looked at me and said oh, he shouldn't wear that. Uh, but, <laughs> we t- <laughs> but we also tell you. Yeah, that's true. You guys are dicks. But it's also <laughs> if he wore the baseball jersey untucked and not the stirrup right, pants. Right. Yeah. Don't wear those pants. Right. Yeah. I mean, those pants were almost see through. They were stretched yeah. out so far. He does not know fat science. No, no. for a fat guy, there's no. tricks to the trade, yeah. and he does not know them. And no, he, he must not have any fat friends. If he you, did not put that shirt over the steering wheel exactly. and turn it from a two X to a four X. Also, you lay out white stretch pants. You go, <laughs> yeah. I'm not wearing yeah, I mean, those. Like that should be. <laughs> right. If you can't make that decision, I want you to, uh, on decisions on Russia. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Can I tell you the worst <laughs> fattest I've ever looked? Huh. Um, I can I can I guess? Yeah, because I know I remember you talking about it. The uh, red shirt, hey Kool Aid. Oh no no no! Oh. That just I was just big at that point. But um, no, the fattest like I've ever felt. Okay, maybe I know another Good. one. There is a picture. I don't like that you have several of these. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I remember you pointing it out and saying that I think there was a picture with you with uh, Undertaker. Where you were like Jesus Christ! Oh okay. no, I know what you're talking about, but it was different. It was okay. it was uh, it was uh, Bruno San Martino. Oh okay. <clears throat> no, um, was who I don't remember who it was. I was a celebrity that had a white party, and I had to go buy a white shirt. Oh with yeah. White hat. yeah. Oh, it was a uh, 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 lightning player. Um, was it uh, Vinny? What's no 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 Cavier? no. Uh, Oh man, now I can't remember. Callahan? He got traded. Oh, Callahan. Callahan. Yeah, Callahan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Callahan, yeah. And he had a white party at Eddie V's, and uh, me and Amanda and um, Nadia went, and they looked hot, and I looked like the ice cream man <laughs> and or the dog catcher yeah. or Michelin something. Man. The, yeah, Stay it was. Marshmallow Man. Ooh, I was sitting there because I had a Just big fat guy in white. <laughs> yeah, I had to. I had, a, I had a white shirt on, and I had to buy what shirt that was like bigger than the one I normally wear because they didn't have the size. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah white, very tough, not fat friendly at no, all. Very no, tough, no, 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 very no, no, no. tough. And I gave Callahan a mouthful about yeah. that. Who has a white party? Yeah, right. a white party. yeah. Party. You know who does? The guys that are in great shape. Yeah. none of them. They all look like little fairies. No, oh. yeah, I didn't like it at all. Anyway, welcome back to the uh, show. Today, welcome back. I don't know where you've been. Sorry, fat people. Sorry, it's not, it's not gonna work out for you presidentially, anyways. I could be a good fat consultant, though. Yeah, you could be on the cabinet. Oh, some guy hit me up the other day. I so Pete does um, his company that he you know he sells cars and all that stuff. They also do wraps and things like that. They do um, marine stuff, they do boats, they wrap boats and they wrap it in not just to look good, but it protects it and all that stuff. So he launched a new business this weekend as like a second part of his business. And he went down to a boat show in Miami and he shot a video mm-hmm. and I reposted the video and some guy hit me up and he goes, I'm looking at this guy and I, it's not that I don't believe you, but it's hard to believe that you guys got all the hot ass that you said you did when you lived together back <laughs> in the day. And I said, buddy, trust me, no one doubts it more than me. I, I was there for it. Pete is unbelievable i said pete is <laughs> unbelievable and I, and I went and i was this is a guy i don't know and i'm in a conversation with him and i went and i found two girls in the past 10 months that i know pete's been with and i send them pictures and guy goes oh i believe it he goes it's just unbelievable i go it's amazing you nailed it when you said pete is like a sultan Sultan. you know we always said maria <laughs> yeah yeah maria called him the sultan yeah yeah yeah, because he's just, and he's uh, charming, and he the way he does that. And, and he like, ain't buying you anything. It's it, not like people, yeah. it's not like Pete's coming in and buying girls diamonds and stuff. But I think he confuses hot girls. They're like, why is it? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, he's like a lion tamer with the chair yeah, holding yeah. up, and they can only focus on one thing at a time. But they're like, <laughs> he confuses them. 
<laughs> but they're like, why, why does he have so much confidence? Like, why yeah. is he so, you know? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He should not wear white. No. No, 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 no. No. But I don't he, think anyone should wear white. No. But he, de- he definitely gets the hottest chicks, man. It, it bugs me. Hmm. Carmen. Yes. You even fall under Pete's spell a little bit, or you did. Oh, I, and he's fun to hang out right. with, right? Like yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like not that you guys are banging, but you guys were like, like you're like, I love Pete. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he's a good wingman. He's a good party buddy. He's, yeah, he's fun to be around. Yeah, and so he's not mean. You can understand how he's able to lie and tame the ladies, as uh, <laughs> yeah. Captain yeah. says, right? Yeah. So you you're it? saying we should be less mean? Yeah. Well, I'd, 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 no, thank you. Exactly. I'm not mean at all. No, thank you. I don't think I'm mean. You're you're. I would say you have the worst temper of anybody on the show. Me? Oh yeah. Oh, no me? way. Yeah. You you have bubble uh, bubble over. It's there. No. Yes. I'm always in a good mood. Always oh. in a good mood. Always nice to be around. Yeah, because you yell at your wife and your kids. <laughs> always, <laughs> always five seconds away from from going. Uh, uh, yeah. Something yeah. broiling under the surface yeah. at all really? times. So, yeah. You're a hot spring. Yeah. If FBI came to us and said that you've been murdering people for the last like five years, we'd go, oh, yeah. 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 Be yeah. They were sense. all bad people, yeah. but yeah. yeah. This is all shocking information. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel that he, way at all. He kills them and makes them into burgers. <laughs> <laughs> he really was burger guy. I don't like that. Mm. <laughs> All right, we got stuff to give away. Carmen will tell you what that is, and then we will give it away next. It's Mike Cal, the show with Sporkle on 1025 The Boone. Carmen. Yes. What do we have to give away today? Uh, we have a bunch of stuff. So right. we have tickets for Here Come the Mummies. Yep. OAR. Yep. Pink. Yep. Next Big Thing. Mm-hmm. Reggae Rise Up. Okay. Monster Jam. Yeah. Thomas Rhett. What is the number one thing that everybody wants out of these things? The ones that are that we no longer have. Uh, which was what? TSO uh, dun, and dun, dun, dun. Alice Cooper. Mm, really? Yeah, those two got were. Dude, Alice Cooper puts on a good show. It'd take a lot for me to go see Alice Cooper. Puts like Alice show. Cooper, have him on the show. His music's okay. Would you go see Alice Cooper with Rob Zombie? Because they tour together a lot. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. I like Rob Zombie. Uh, in fact, last time they came through wasn't Ministry, I think, opening. I'm not a oh. Ministry fan, mm. but I think you like them a I've little bit, right? I've seen them, yeah. yeah. Uh, I like to walk around the house going... That's my Rob Zombie. Okay. But I do that. Uh, I find myself in the kitchen looking for a snack going... It's one of those songs that gets stuck in my head. It's funny. My uh, son took guitar lessons from Dave Erasmo, and uh, Dave Erasmo is amazing. One of the best. And, uh, you know, he was... He's not happy today. No, no yeah, probably no, not. Uh, but uh, it, he came over, and he was uh, showing my son some stuff, and he goes, so you want to learn... He goes, I know everybody kind of wants to learn songs. You want to learn riffs and stuff. And he started playing uh, Rob Zombie. And, dun, 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 and my son's eyes lit up. He was like, yeah. Because yeah, that's, that's all you want to do. You want to be able to play yeah. cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of cool stuff, we're playing at Joyland on the 22nd of this month. Yes. The last broadcast day before Thanksgiving. Hopefully, we'll see everybody out there in the Sarasota, Bradenton uh, area. Probably uh, last show of the year for Pitbull Toddler, right? That's what I've been billing it as the last show of the year because I can't see us having time to squeeze another one in. Yeah. But you never know. Yeah. Probably. Know. Probably. Uh, all right, Carmen, let's give us some of that stuff away with a little bit of sporkle. Here we go. Come on. You come on, man. Uh, come on. Hoppy would run the board way better. <laughs> I agree. Mm. I'll go take a nap. <laughs> Hoppy is the keeper of Sporkle. Nah, it doesn't have the same ring. Doesn't have the same ring. Uh, Pat Pep is your judge and scorekeeper. Carmen, what are we playing today? All right. Today we're going to be playing songs for kings and queens. Can you name the Hello. missing word from the song titles that all have the word king, kings, queen, or queen? All right. Okay. But yep. you're giving me the missing word. Okay. All right. And do we have to get it plural or singular as it is? Well, on no, paper? it's no, because king and qu- king, kings, queen, queens <laughs> is in the title. That's okay. not going to be the missing the word. word. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. You're giving me the missing word. Gotcha, All right. gotcha. And it's going to go fast. Okay. So get your points in. Okay. Right. It's short. Okay. Right. Don't go that fast. What is, <laughs> All right, let's go. Queen, Abba, dancing, dancing. Galvin, King for a day. day. Get, uh, Mike Kelta. Save the Queen. God. Galvin. California King. Bed. Geo. 
That's a song? Yeah. Or, By Rihanna. Oh, really? Well, love it. Gio goes, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> love it. Queen, Billy Ocean. Dancing. No. Damn Caribbean. It. Yeah, Caribbean queen, idiot. Mike Kelta. King of the... Day. Road. Road. Galvin. King, the Beatles. Blank King. Burger. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh... Blank King by the Beatles. Uh... Sun King. Queen. Mountain. Mississippi. Galvin. And Pap Pap. We're on the halfway there. Oh. Gio is on the board with a single point. Michael doubling that with two. And Galvin is your leader. He's winning with four. Mm. Hell yeah. You could have double again. Double, double. Hmm. Okay. I, didn't, I know I didn't. Toil in trouble. I don't think that's right, Joe. It's definitely <laughs> right. All right. Songs for kings and queens. You're giving me the missing word. Your next one. Crawling King. The Doors. Lizard. Crawling King blank. The Doors. Joe's dying to tell you guys. I know. Snake. Yes. Crawling King Snake by The Doors. Lizards and snakes are the same. Half point. No, no, no half point. (laughs) Queen of Juicy Newton. Juice Newton. Juice Newton. Juicy. I like Juicy. Queen of you. Queen of hearts. Oh, oh the queen of hearts. Yeah. Was there one song? How did yeah. I get that? King of Run DMC. Rock. Galvin. <clears throat> White Queen. Evanescence. Is it white blank queen? Blank white queen. Super. Snow white queen. Racist. No. (laughs) Cartoon. And Pap Pap. Uh Oh. We are on the last three. Gio on the board with that single point. Michael still with two. And Galvin is your leader. He's now winning with five. Two. <laughs> two. two. All, right. All right. Songs for kings and queens. Last three. King Metallica. Nothing. Yes. <laughs> Mike. That one. Queen. By Queen. Killer. Mike Kelta. Uh oh. Don't call it a comeback. Geo, activated. <laughs> And your last one. King of the police. Pain. Jesus. Pain. Oh. Mike Kelta. Could not think of it. <sighs> well, we are all tied up. Both uh, Michael and Galvin have five, not counting Geo. Mm-hmm. Geo, you are out. This is the extra question for the extra point just between Mike and Galvin. Here we go. Queen of the night. Oh, what, what just happened? Oh. Oh. That was that good. Was... I mean, did Joe have the score right? <laughs> yes, I did. I have the score right. Well, yeah, I actually think he missed one. Yeah, yeah. I did so I, what is the final For me? score? Final score: <laughs> Gio with only one measly point on the board. Galvin with five, and Michael is your triumphant champion today. He won with six. Indeed, and I believe. That is three in a row. Oh, nobody told me that. Come on, Gio. If you're keeping score over there, you got to tell us when it's going for three in a row. Yeah, how uh, come? How come you're so terrible? <laughs> <laughs> According uh, to the records, that is three in a row. Right. Wait, I'll go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. In honor of uh, Starbucks Coffee Day, mm-hmm. I would like for you guys to sing We Wish You a Merry Christmas. But not to everybody, just to me. We wish Mike a Merry Christmas. Okay. Okay. Together. Two, three, four. We wish Mike a Merry Christmas. We wish Mike a Merry Christmas. We wish Mike a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Mike.
Oh, I huh? like that. I changed it up. Yeah, I, I like, like it all. Happy Calvin, thank you for your efforts. Uh, so you're not so mean to Carmen all the time. Oh, yeah. Carmen, I'm sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let me pick a uh, winner on the lines, please. Please stand by. Good morning. Who is this? What's up? It's Joe. What's up, Joe? How are you doing? I'm doing well, man. How about yourself? What do you do for a living, Joe? I'm retired, actually. God, oh, good nice. for you, Joe. You sound How so young. Are you? Yeah. I had a restaurant business in Staten Island, and uh, I did well with it, and I retired. So mm. good for you. Who gets out of Staten Island and does good? Me and Joe. By the way, did not answer the question. How old are you, Joe? Yeah, how old of a guy are you, Joe? Old enough. Mm. Do you want to? Is that like my? Is that kind of like I'm my dad worked for the sanitation I'm department? In, uh... <laughs> so we're the same age, Joe, and uh, you're already retired. I like the way you operate. You, you, was it an Italian restaurant? Yes. Where? What area of the island were you in? I was in Highland Boulevard. Highland Boulevard spans the whole island, Joe. Very secretive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't I'll think he's... Uh, oh, Joe's from Staten Island, relocated in Florida. He's retired. We got you. Would right. yeah. it be good if Joe, if Joe is a 60-year-old Asian and he owned Lum Chin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Joe, I'm going to put you on hold and we'll hook you up with a prize. Okay, buddy? Thank you, brother. All right, pal. Thank you. Good luck to Joe. Yeah, look, I understand. Sometimes people don't want their business out there. Mm -hmm. Witness protection is very difficult. <sighs> that was what we implied, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it. Calvin, what do we have coming up in news? Uh, coming up in news today, end of an era, Scrooge McDuck and... Hello, Satan. Oh, all right. Galvin is your news. We'll do that next. Ian Finance will be here. Uh, Cody Tucker will join us. And, of course, Martin Gramatico will be joining us this morning to do football picks. It's the Mike Calta Show. News is next on 102.5 The Bone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got a big show today. Uh, Ian Finance is going to be here. Is it finance? Is it finance? I don't know. He's a very funny uh, guy. He's just all around funny. He's a good comedian. He's a funny podcast host. He's a great guest on shows. Uh, he'll be in the studio with us. Also, um, Martin will join us by phone today. Uh, he's going to be calling in his football picks. And then we have uh, Cody Tucker at 8 o'clock will join us from Texas. Right now, time to check in with Galvin. He's got today's news. And now, news with Galvin on the Mike Calter Show. What do we have in news today, Galvin? Today's news is brought to you by Pelt Shoes. If you need some new shoes, may I suggest stopping to a Pelt's? They have six locations throughout uh, Pinellas, Sarasota, and Fort Myers. So easy to find. If you can hear my voice, you're probably near one right now. Stop in there. Check out their huge selection. They have all the different styles and brands you're looking for. If you need some shoes, uh, boat shoes, you need some sandals, you need some uh, running shoes, maybe you need some uh, dress shoes, All uh, you got all the Christmas parties coming up, you need some fancy heels, ladies. Well, stop into Pelt's. They have everything you're looking for right there, so make sure you stop in there and tell them Galvin from the Mike Kelter Show sent you. Uh, so Vice President Kamala Harris called Donald Trump to congratulate him yesterday. Then in a speech to her supporters, she said, quote, the light of America's promise will always... The white? The light. Oh, I was like, whoa. <laughs> the light of America's promise will always burn bright as long as we never give up. And as long as we keep fighting, she had her uh, concession speech where she uh, said that and more. We have a little bit of that as well. Take a listen. Here is Kamala Harris uh, saying, you know, hey, Donald Trump. Won. I lost. Yeah. My heart is full today, full of gratitude for the trust you have placed in me, full of love for our country, and full of resolve. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted, not what we fought for, not what we voted for, but hear me when I say, hear me when I say, the light of America's promise will always burn bright. As long as we never give up, and as long as we keep fighting. Now I know folks are feeling and experiencing a range of emotions right now. I get it. <laughs> but we must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him 
<laughs> that we will help him and his team with their transition and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. They're good at helping people with their transition. <laughs> While I concede this election, I do not concede the fight that fueled this campaign. All right. There you go. I thought it was good. I thought she uh, that it was a very noble speech. I felt like that she said the right things, like we lost, but we're hoping to make the country better. We still stick by what we ran on, and I, I, I didn't expect that. No crazy else. accent either. No. No crazy accent. <laughs> no crazy. Did, did that, did she, the last thing she did was that dumb laugh, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I do find her to be adorable. Adorable? Not, yeah, like she's like just a cute little lady. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm not attracted to her, but I do think she's like just a sweet little lady. That's how every campaign should end. I think. Yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah. I, I you remember seed, and then you congratulate the winner, and you move on. And yeah. the debates, you know, with everything going on, all the crazy stuff. The uh, video popped up of uh, Obama with um, uh, what's his name? The oh, ran for president. Good lord, Kerry? Mitt Romney, so bad, Romney. Yeah. Oh. And how cordial they were with each other, and how they went out and shook hands, yes. and they talked, and they but didn't talk over you, each other. You don't like a little bit of oh. action, a little fireworks. <laughs> I like fireworks. Yeah. I don't like over talking and yeah. blah, 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 you know, doing that stuff. Yeah, but the. Uh, yeah, wrong. That's great. That, that was great. fantastic. Yeah. You know, she You'd be saying, in jail. Yeah. yeah. That type of stuff is totally fine. The, uh, the stuff where they're just yelling at each other and then they have to cut the microphones. You're just like, okay, well, whatever. Yeah. Uh, U.S. stocks rallied sharply to close at record highs on Wednesday after Republican Donald Trump won the 2024 U.S. presidential election. Dow Industrials, uh, S&P 500, and NASDAQ uh, Composite each ended at record levels with investors expecting lower taxes, deregulation, and U.S. president and a U.S. president who is not shy to weigh in on everything from the stock market to the dollar, although fresh tariffs could bring challenges in form of higher deficit and inflation. But the stock market, going through the roof. Yeah, it is. I just checked my 401k for the first time. Have you done that? Uh, not recently, no. I just did it now. Yeah. During, I saw Ice Cube put in, uh, check my 401k. Today was a good day. And I went, you know what? I didn't do that. Let me look. And I looked and I was like, Ooh, I well, sent it to my wife. I can tell you, I check mine periodically to see where I'm at. And, uh, I, you know, when it was under Trump, I was always like, Oh my God. Oh, yeah. every time I checked that every time I checked under Biden, I was like, Oh, come on. Co- now. Yeah. When is happening? Come here? on, man. Uh, California was lashed by powerful winds Wednesday that uh, fed fast-moving wildfires, which destroyed dozens of homes and forced thousands of residents to flee as forecasters warned for the potential for extreme and life-threatening blazes. Did you see? Have you seen them? Yes, that's it's unbelievable. And my question to you, would you rather go through a hurricane or a wildfire? Mm. Hurricane. Right? Yep. Yeah. I think you have a better chance in a hurricane. I don't want to die in a fire. Well, you don't want to die either way. But I know, but I, I don't want the heat, the smoke, the complete decimation of your home. Hurricane, you got a fighting chance against the wind. You can prepare for it. I can't board yeah, up my if, house for a fire. Right. If your roof comes off, you're like, this is uh, terrible, but uh, I can put a new roof on. Right. Fire, you're like, well, that's done. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I'm... Not a fire guy. Uh, Northwest of Los Angeles, the mountain fire exploded in uh, size and uh, prompted evacuation orders for more than uh, 10,000 people as it threatened uh, 3,500 structures in suburban communities, ranches, and uh, areas around uh, Camarillo. The area east of Pacific Coast City of Ventura will uh, receive federal assistance after a request from Newsom was uh, granted. You got fires, you got earthquakes, you got homeless, you got, I mean, there's a lot of problems in New California. California is such a big state. It's got three different disaster areas. Yeah, mudslides. Uh, mudslides. Yeah, it's it's all bad. It's all bad over there. There's a lot to take care of. I'm surprised that we're not seeing more presidents come out of California because if you could run California successfully, you should be able to handle. It. If you're a governor of California, you should be able to handle everything. And who is the last one that ran California successfully, though? Ronald Reagan. Yeah. 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 Well, 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 Jerry um, Brown. Jerry Brown. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> So was trying right. to get a change where yeah. he'd be able to be president. Yeah. He was like, come on, I'm doing everything right. <laughs> I'm good. Plus, look at this body. <laughs> a man in Florida was arrested for punching a police horse. Oh, oh I know a guy who did man. that. After the Georgia-Florida game this past Saturday. 
Uh, three officers wrestled him to the ground and cuffed him. There's no word on the uh, horse's condition, but the guy what, got arrested. Was he Canadian? Does not say. Ian Beckles one time. Oh, my God. Was in downtown oh, no. St. Petersburg. Oh, no. Put his business out there. A police officer on a horse said something Ian didn't like about Canada. No. Ian jumped up on the horse. He jumped up from behind like Johnny on the pony. Mm. Kicked the police officer off the horse. Mm. Then proceeded to put the horse in a in a uh, chokehold, turn the horse over, tie up his legs, and then repeatedly kick the horse in the face. What? I don't know if that's right. That you don't think? I think that's that's what I heard. Drew told me. That. No, I don't, I, don't <laughs> I don't know if that's right. Have you ever seen the video? I think we've talked about this before, where the guy goes up to the mounted police officers and he goes, "Can I pet it? Can I pet?" Yeah. <laughs> and the officer goes, "Yeah." And then he goes over and starts petting the officer's yeah. leg. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. I, I see that. But the, uh, the right. police officer's cool about it. He starts laughing. His buddy starts laughing. At you it. want to see some good uh, horse stuff, watch the uh, oh. the King's Guard or the yeah, oh, King's yeah. Guard in England. Those horses will bite people. They do, yeah. yeah and it's they, great. And I people are so a, dumb. Yeah. I don't understand why people don't understand that animals are wild. Well, because I, I mean, I'll, I'll tell I, you, having been there, Galvin, you see the guy sitting on the horse. The horse is totally still and it's totally fine. And you take a picture and then you want you want the guard and the and the horse to be in the picture. You're like, can I get over there? And you go over there. And then sometimes they get the horse fired up, and then sometimes the horse is just like, I'm gonna bite you, and turns and bites the shoulder. I would say that they probably do something with the reins that makes the That's horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that they do that. Um, but they uh I saw a horse bite a special needs girl the other day, and that oh. was a big disaster. Because a lot of times with the special needs people, the horses will be cool about yeah, it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like they for some reason. But also take a picture in front. Where you're not standing so close to the horse, and you can see the horse and the guy in the background. There's still yeah. an all-time classic viral video of the woman sitting next to the bear taking the picture, and the bear oh, just goes, yeah. Just yeah. Like, yeah. It's like yeah. she's all smiling and happy. Yeah, it was and the like, bear. It was like on a morning news yeah. thing, whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's. I mean, classic internet viral video. If they brought a bear in here, <laughs> nope. I would go. I'm not going to be on the show that yeah. day. Yeah, or I'm going to take that. What? The half hour segment out. Carmen, I love bears, and there's nothing I would love more than to roll around with the bear and feed it honey and have a good time. But but it's a bear, yeah. and I know that yeah, yeah it's crazy. There's a uh, there's a documentary about a guy. The guy had uh, bears. He was a bear trainer, and he did bears for movies and commercials and all that stuff. So his nephew was in college, and he did a report on his uncle who did all these uh, bear training and did all this stuff. And part of it was a video of him and he goes and stands next to the bear. The bear had been in however many movies, however many commercials did all this stuff. The bear standing up next to the guy and the trainer saying stuff and the bears looking at him and doing this and that. And then the bear does something that the trainer knows is not a good thing. And he Randy or whatever the bear's name is, you know, he goes, and the bear just goes like this. He goes, <laughs> and just eats this guy immediately. Yeah. And they it was up on top of a like a mountain. They yeah. couldn't get him down in time. His neck's bleeding like crazy. And it was like just all, well, all of a sudden. Look at uh, Siegfried and Roy. They yeah. were doing that for oh, decades. Yeah. Yep. They and raised then, those. Yeah. They yeah. raised those from birth. And yeah. then finally it ripped his throat out. Yeah. Live on stage. Well, I, I don't understand why we can't see that video. I that mean, and the one that the guy that went and lived with the bears and the bears decided to eat him. I'd like to see that, too. I think they said it was destroyed. They, that's they said, but yeah, you know it wasn't. Grizzly yeah. man, yeah. But no, no, the, the one, uh, Siegfried and Roy, they said they destroyed the video, but I don't yeah. believe that. They, they, say, live on they stage. say that the grizzly man, too, that they either one guy has it and will never show it yeah. or whatever, but you, you can hear the audio. Yeah, yeah, the one guy said he had it. And then the, when that grizzly man first came out and we talked about it, uh, I, I was the internet was still pretty uh, new as far as videos and stuff. I'm like, somebody has this. Somebody has this video. Oh man, did I get trolled that day? Everybody sent me a link. Here's the video. Here's the video. And I click on it. It'd be a little cartoon bear dancing. Ah, ah you right. son of they a bitch. Yeah, see, that was uh, the Siegfried and Roy was 2003, so no cell phone cameras at the time, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody's got it. Mm. You would think. He, he got. Think. I think he got bit right in the throat. Yeah, the yeah. Lion or tiger? Tiger. Yeah. Montecor. Yeah. Oof. Gave him the old right in the throat. Good times. Uh, there is a guy that is going viral on TikTok after Hertz, the rental car company, tried to charge him $10,000 after he somehow drove 25,000 miles in one month in the rental car, uh -huh. even though he had unlimited miles. So then, in how his contract. Did they charge him? Exactly. 
They can't because he has unlimited miles. They have now apologized. Oh, okay. <laughs> Said, oh, yeah. Well, I guess. You should yeah. just give him the car at this <laughs> point. Right. Miles. Uh, I was driving one time, and you know how up near Tallahassee you can easily go into Georgia? Yeah. Uh, so I was driving, and you have in state whenever you do the thing. Are you going to leave the state? No, I'm not going to leave the state. Had a little thing, whatever. So I took a wrong turn, and I wound up in Georgia, and I went, oops, and I went back. So when I had to return the car, I go, Hey, I accidentally went into Georgia, and she said, "You're fine." <laughs> what do you, you think they were? I thought they were going to charge down? me. Yeah. I thought yeah. they were going to charge. I mean, they have the GPS and everything, so I thought they were going to be like, "Hey, you went into Georgia. That's an extra fifteen thousand dollars or something." <laughs> yeah, you go like forty-five minutes an hour outside of Tallahassee. You're in Georgia. Yeah, I was like, "Whoops!" I can't believe that I made that mistake too. I was so dumb. I gotta go to Georgia. I, so yeah. do I. Yeah. You're going to? I gotta. I'm going to. I gotta go to a soccer tournament in two oh. weeks. Oh, been, what uh, are you doing for Thanksgiving? Uh, I'll be back here. You should go to Georgia. I'll stay in Georgia. We'll I'm going to Savannah, out. though. I like Savannah. I've Savannah's been there nice. before. Savannah's nice. I'm going to go, in, go eat at that racist lady's restaurant. I was just say, I'm going to go to Paula Dean's. Get the chicken pot pie. Savannah okay. for uh, St. Patrick's Day is wild. Yeah, I've heard that. It's huge. It's bigger than Mardi Gras. Yeah. I don't like that. Too yeah. many people. Oh, that's fun, though. Uh, there's a new relationship trend where people are asking Chat GPT to weigh in on their arguments oh, to help them oh, win a fight. I like that. Yeah, they say it's actually uh, it's not as neutral as you think because uh, it's the way that you ask the question. It'll give you a certain answer, you okay, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So if you kind of lead them, do you think this is right, you know, or whatever. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can kind of just like Google it. How do I convince my wife this is all her fault? Right, yeah. <laughs> is he a jerk? Yeah. Do you agree with me? Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. I didn't think about using that. I, uh... I don't use chat GPT. I never have, but I, I use the uh, meta AI mm-hmm. to make those pictures, you know? Mm-hmm. And the other day I asked it to make me a um, profile picture where I was the president, mm-hmm. but I left picture out. So I said, made me a presidential profile and it did. I have to tell you, I looked really good in that profile. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was my age was right in the, in the wheelhouse. I, it gave me a middle name. Oh yeah. yeah it made me, made me look very presidential. What was the middle name? It gave you I Jonathan. Think it was Jonathan. How'd you know that? Well, it just seems like a common name, and yeah. with yeah. Michael, that Jonathan. would fit. Yeah. Nope. And um, uh, I was like, after reading it, I thought I might be a good candidate. Wait. <laughs> uh, there's a new flying hack going on uh, that's going viral called Check In Chicken. Check In Chicken. You no. check. Yes, I know what this is. Check In Chicken. Go ahead. You check in. <sighs> I forgot. When about you it. get there. Let me, it. Yeah. So check in chicken. You know how do you play chicken? Yeah. Check in chicken. Carmen, you're uh, on the right track. What do you got? So it's when you wait until you get to the airport to check in to see if you're actually going to make that flight or not. Because a lot of these um, airlines now are offering huge amounts of money to for like layovers and stuff like that. And there was one lady in, that did it when she was overseas, and she ended up, ended up staying an extra like two or three weeks. Oh, you're saying because they have to pay you immediately now? Yeah. In cash and if, you, ha- if your flight gets bumped or something. Yeah. And if you're in a different city or country or whatever, usually they have to uh, make accommodations for you. So oh, they have wow. to book you like a hotel and stuff. So yeah, this lady ended up staying an extra two weeks for free on the airlines because she just kept taking the, um, do you want to bump your flight? Do you right. want to, do you want to lay over? And every morning she'd wake up, she'd go to the airport and then she'd volunteer oh, to like take that. a different flight. And she ended up getting an extra like two, three weeks out of her vacation. Nice. Uh, so, so you're close, Carmen, with okay. that. It is uh, where people wait till the last minute to check in, hoping that they'll be given an unsold premium seat. Oh, okay. Uh, so they're, yeah, they're trying mm-hmm. to see if, you know, maybe somebody get doesn't show up. up or, yeah, they get bumped up for it and stuff. But I have done that, Carmen, where they said, will anybody uh, be willing to give up their seat for, you know, this, that, whatever. And I was waiting and I was like, I'm not going to do it. And then they were like, we'll put you up at the hotel and we'll give you a, a $250 voucher. And I'm like, oh. Two this, that, yeah, and then it wound up going up to, I think it was like 500 or something. I was like, oh, I'll do that. Yeah. I don't have to be anywhere. I'm fine. So I just stayed in the hotel by the airport, and they gave me a $500 fl- uh, flight voucher, and I was like, okay. It only, you know, it only happened to me one time. I was flying back from somewhere with my dad. I don't know, remember where we were, but we got stuck in Cleveland, and uh, and I got stuck, and they were put us up in the airport hotel, and Josh Need was performing that night. I almost went to go see him. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. yeah. Uh, someone looked at which states are Googling true crime stuff the most. What would you say? Which state uh, Google's most 
uh, true crime stuff. I don't know what the correlation would be. I know my wife likes that stuff. I don't know if she Googles it. She knows she watches it. I don't know. I really don't. I see Googled, you. I Googled uh, something true crime on the way here today. Oh, I was listening to a Dateline podcast, and I always like to see if I haven't seen Dateline, which I've seen everyone, mm. but I like to see who the people are. Like whenever you hear like an yeah. interview or something like that, and I'm like, what's this, what's this guy look like? Let me see if it's this guy. Because you can usually tell by looking at him. You're like, ah. I, I don't know. know. I don't know what why it would correlate to any state, I would. I'm going to say something busy like New York. Uh, Massachusetts is Uh-oh. number one. Yeah, they Google the most stuff about true crime. Uh, followed by New York is number two. Then Nevada, Colorado, Illinois, Connecticut, Washington, North Carolina, New Hampshire, and then Texas. I'm surprised not Florida. There's all kinds of weird yeah. Florida I'm man stories. Also very surprised yeah. not Florida. And there's a lot of good, uh, like, um, uh, Sword and Scale is out of Florida. Right. You know, so there's a lot. Oh, of- no wonder why. I get people all the time send me links to Sword and Scale because we're on it. Yeah. They use our, our audio a lot. There is um, that uh, John Chuck Chuck. Yeah. Right? John Ch- John, Chuck, John, John John Chuck. Chuck or John the guy John threw Chuck. his daughter off the skyway yeah 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 and we're on that episode i know and maybe a couple other ones uh the least obsessed states are georgia mississippi alaska hawaii and arkansas southern states tend to be less uh into it in general for some reason uh big cities seem to be uh, more into it than rural spots so i love true crime stuff especially if it's good if it's good you got me you know it's weird is like i'm not that guy. Although, if you start me off and watch some, I'll be like, "This is great." You know, Carmen. What was the documentary we watched and we talked about uh, where the uh, lady is uh, missing and they think it's the boyfriend and the whole thing goes down and all um, this stuff and then the 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 twist and how it turns out, you're blown away. Yeah, it's um like the craziest Merce. Oh my god, hold on, it's on Netflix. Yeah, I know that, something so. on yeah. Netflix and. I'm telling you, if you watch this the entire time, you're like, get out of here. You're out of your mind. Like you couldn't make something up that crazy. You're you're out of your mind. This is so made up. This is be at it's real. Oh, really? And you find Ameri- out- American Nightmare. American oh. Nightmare. Yes. Yeah. By the way, if you have not watched that, watch it. Yes. It's definitely worth a watch, and you will be blown away by it. Y- you yeah every time you're like there's no way this is happening right, right there's yeah. no way and then and then it just keeps going and you're like how did they let this happen <laughs> yeah it oh is. someone's getting fired it is bananas for sure yeah. yeah it's one of those uh truth stranger than fiction because you can't believe it until you find out that it's actually real yeah uh louis vuitton uh is selling a doghouse how much do you think they're selling a doghouse for? <laughs> I don't know. They sell their stupid, ugly bags for four grand. Right. Uh, doghouse got to be 20 grand. 20 grand. Eight. Eight grand. Carmen? Ooh, I'm going to say like 35. 35. Joe, any idea? You're looking at it right uh, there. 60. On the nose, Joe. Oh, really? yeah. oh you cheated. I did not cheat. It's just a picture. It doesn't have any he information. cheated for sure. <laughs> All right. There's no way. Uh, $60,000 doghouse. It looks like one of their bags. It's the brown with the gold, you know, and that has all the different stuff. Uh, it's part of their new pet line that also includes a $2,200 dog bowl Jeez. and a $470 poop bag holder. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, that I can understand. Well, my birthday's coming up, so if you guys want to get me some, I'd buy that for my dog in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! You want a poop bag? <laughs> so dumb looking, huh? Yeah, I'll take a four hundred seventy dollar poop bag. All right, yeah. I'll use it for something else probably though. Uh, happy National Men Cook Dinner Day. Out. Oh, I, I love always, to cook. I always cook dinner. Yeah. Carmen, yeah. does Chad cook for you? Um, he, sorry. I, <laughs> sorry to wake you. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. I'm typing and I don't want you guys to hear it. Um, he can, he has some cooking. He can make I soup. I bet his food stinks because he's so skinny. <laughs> What's his yeah. signature dish? <laughs> no, he, he can make kale soup. No. Oh, <laughs> soup. You're right. No. You're but, right. I, oh, but I gotta sense. tell you, soup is, the soup is very good. Yeah. Ad guy makes kale soup. Yeah, but that's what he makes. He Gross. can make a really man's good. Meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. But listen, I do ninety nine percent of the cooking. If I don't cook, he usually warms up a microwave pizza. Oh uh, yeah, I and, would, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been watching some good uh, videos. Two two things I got questions about. One is I forgot his name, but I watched this black dude. Can't figure out where he's from, but he constantly is smoking and deep frying stuff. Mm-hmm. But he built this deep fryer. 
that is rectangular and long, and he puts like a bunch of chicken on it, and then he lowers it with a little little crank wheel. Oh, and, I've seen and, that into the fryer. Yeah, right? yeah. I don't know. Who that, yeah, but he's been cooking. <laughs> he cooked a twelve foot Burmese python the other day. Oh, oh really? Yeah. I, I I mean, like he's he's making me want to eat a snake. It yeah. looks so good. He took the snake. And he coated it in some sort of uh, seasoning, and then he put it in the fryer, then took it off the fryer, put it in the smoker, and when it was done smoking, put it back on the fryer. I was yeah. like, I want to eat this snake. Like, the fryer's like as big as this table yeah. here, yeah. And then he cooked bear legs the other Whoa. day. What? Yeah, he, yeah, he, is, he, could bear be good? He, well, only they the legs. Say, they say it is good. Sweet meat. He said it's like a pot roast. Mm, okay. Yeah. I See, I would figure bear would be very muscly. So it wouldn't be maybe. like tender. He only had the legs, so I don't know if he, if you shouldn't eat the rest of it. I know that they they don't want you to eat it when it comes out of hibernation because right. it's got all the uh, poison and toxic. Right, it's all yeah. toxic. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the legs, I guess, are safe to eat. And I, I don't know where he's getting them. I don't know if he's killing the bear or if he's just cooking the meat. But um, it's it's pretty interesting to watch. The other thing is the woman who is feeding her dogs all these real meats and duck heads and and uh, quail I eggs. I love those videos. Yeah, but where do you, where are you getting that stuff? The grocery store. A uh, uh, duck head? I would uh, imagine if you go to Asian markets, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. probably find a lot of that stuff. Oh. Asian markets, but then also like pet supply stores. Like they have like. Yeah, I've oh. seen that before. Yeah, mm. you can go. And then there's a lot of like, maybe not Whole Foods, but there's a lot of like organic grocery stores or whatever you want to call them, health grocery stores that carry stuff like that. Or, she's like, here, here inside my dog's bowl, I have a quail's head or a duck's head, two quail eggs. A uh, spider's liver and a monkey's nose, and I'm gonna feed this to my dog. And the dog comes in, and just eats it all, just destroys the whole thing. Another good place to get that kind of stuff: your butcher, oh. Peppy. Oh, really? Some yeah. leftover, some stuff he doesn't. So yeah, because they don't use that. They yeah. don't sell it. So it's literally all just trash to them. That's so, where the Sicilians used to get the cup of cellar from. That's right. Because they uh, they would nobody selling the head, yeah. and so they would just buy the head because they were so poor. And cook the head, and my God, is that delicious! Have you used your uh, your whole gift card yet? Over at uh, no, 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 no. I still have some uh, some spots left on. It. Get some stuff yeah, going. I might go get some some monkey nose and some duck buttholes. You, you should make a you should make a brisket for uh, John Jones fight. And we'll all come over oh, for UFC. I like the way you operate. I like the way you operate. <laughs> oh, I just when is that? Uh, December. Yeah. yeah, let's do. Uh, listen, I have yet to use the theater for anything fun. Is Mike Tyson this weekend? No, that's the fifteenth. No. Next weekend. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna watch that. No, you're you're not, not gonna watch. I'll it. watch the updates on it, and then I'll uh, if it's something goes crazy where one of them dies or gets knocked out, I'll watch the replay. Because isn't it on Netflix? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but I'll be a Burt's thing, and I don't really think I care about it that much. I just would like to see the outcome. And you'll be able to watch it again if it's on Netflix. Right. They always repost their live stuff. Right. If it's that good, I'll watch it later. Uh, UFC 309 is happening. Uh, oh, November 16th. That's right. Because it's uh, uh, my birthday is the 14th. Bert is the 15th. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson is the 15th. And then John Jones and Stipe is oh. on the 16th. Well, maybe we'll do that. It's a yeah. great weekend. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Have a little party. Big old party. I like that. Uh, well, there you go. Uh, then uh, this sounds like it's going to be great. A kid writes a letter to Santa. This is a movie. A kid writes a letter to Santa, but thanks to misspelling it, he summons Satan instead. Yes. <laughs> Wait. It's a new Farrelly Brothers movie starring Jack Black. Oh, it'll be great. Uh, it's called Dear Santa. Uh, Jack Black plays Satan, and uh, Post Malone makes a cameo in it as well. I love Jack Black. That's yeah, funny. but that just sounds yeah, funny. That, like that's a good premise when yeah. he accidentally spells Satan instead of Santa, that's and then pretty, Jack Black. That's a great Jack funny, Black yeah. movie, right yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, and if you're if you're casting that, you're like Jack Black has to play Satan. One hundred percent. Bill Burr is going to host the big post election episode of SNL, so okay. he's going to be on there. Yeah. Uh, if you saw the promo for it, uh, they don't. You know, they filmed it before they knew who was going to be the next president. Mm -hmm. And so they do a sound gag where they're like, I can't believe this guy in the background uh, with the drill. And then this guy starts vacuuming and they're like, uh, he goes, I was talking to Rudy Giuliani in the steam room. He told me who uh, killed Epstein. It was in the uh, you know, whole thing. But so it's live, but the, some of the sketches are filmed. Sure. Like, I get that. But why wouldn't they just wait and film it? Because like it's a promo. Yeah. yeah. They, oh, the promo what's coming up. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha. I thought you meant for the show. No, no. Okay. No. Gotcha. I would like to go see Saturday Night Live in studio. Yeah. One time. Just yeah. once. I've done that. Yeah. A couple of times. Like I feel like that's like a a one time thing you, you gotta go do. Now, when you went and saw it, 
there's different stages. So you're sitting here, but sometimes this is over here or it's right in front of you mm-hmm. or it's over. Yeah. Yeah. It's Do your like, seats move? Like, no. no. What are you okay. on a Disney ride? Yeah. Like it's not really set <laughs> yeah. for the audience to see, right? No, it is. I mean, you're, you're sitting in front of, uh, depending on where you sit, you're, it, it's tiered. Right. Uh, there's a little higher seats in the back. It's not that many people. And you're, uh, you're sitting in front of, it was probably like four or five stages yeah. there and they'll, but yeah, maybe four. But the one that's like like uh, last time I went, I sat all the way on the other end of the musical one, but it was right there. Right. So I watched Kendrick Lamar, and then the first time I went, Macy Gray was on. And I actually sat behind her mother and sat in the front of yeah. her. At least there, you're there. I would think that's be the best spot. You're there for the monologue, the beginning, and stuff, and all the musical performances. Yeah, it was cool because I went when I went to go see it. It was um, it was not Miley Cyrus. It was she was married to. Thor's brother, mm. Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Liam. I think, I think he hosted the show, and uh, a, I don't know. Was he and also was he in that um, movie with uh, Woody Harrelson? Yeah, the, yeah. They all showed up at the thing, so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's Hunger definitely Games. fun. Hunger Games yeah. movies. Thank you. Yeah. It's definitely a, a fun experience. Um, but there's two. There's a taping at four o'clock and a, a dress rehearsal. And then there is a live one at eleven thirty. Yeah. So sometimes if they screw something up at eleven thirty or they can't get it right, they'll have the the one from the dress yeah. rehearsal that they could run and show it. Um, Michael Che warmed up the crowd when I was there, and he was very funny. He was I never saw him do stand up before, and he was very funny. Now, when they run like something from the dress rehearsal, do you just are you can you see it on the television? Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. there's like TVs all over. Yep, there's monitors, see. and then they're constantly doing stuff on the set, so nothing's ever like boring. Everything's right. always moving around. I imagine so. it's way smaller being there than it looks on TV. It is way smaller. Yeah. It is definitely way smaller. <laughs> Uh, Australian breakdancer Rachel Gunn, a.k.a. Ray, Ray Gunn, Gunn yeah. has announced that she is retiring oh, from what? competition. What? Oh. We F- cannot go on. It's our fault. It's our fault. Following the backlash over her performance at the Paris Olympics, <laughs> saying, quote, I'm not going to compete anymore. Nur. Uh, Gunn said, I was going to keep competing for sure, but that seems really difficult for me to do now to approach a battle. Yeah, I mean, I still dance, I still break, but you know, that's like in my living room with my partner. Yeah. <laughs> and now we all suffer. Yeah. He still breaks. Yeah. By uh, the way, uh, oh, Halloween already happened. Uh, did anybody dress up? Did yeah, I I've seen them. I saw a bunch of things on the internet. Of yeah. People, people really got the, the dances. Down yeah. Pretty yeah. Good. That's yeah. great. I love whenever they say who did it better and they show her dancing and then it cuts to a cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving around all dumb. That really was one of the most ridiculous things that in my life. That was insane. Yeah. That was absolutely and she's insane. so serious about it. Yeah. I mean, come on. What is happening? Ray Gunn. Uh, even though Kevin Costner left Yellowstone, the show's director says that John Dutton's present is integral to the final episodes, which premiere starting on uh, November 10th. So how he's not in it. He they, left. They must reference him or something. I Does would he die? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Cause he was I, you, sick, you know, we haven't cancer. seen the new season yet. It premieres on you November seen. 10th. No, I no. You got I've never watched any of it. Yeah. yeah. I watched it and then it was just kind of. I think it went on break and I was like, all right, I think I'm done. That happens when they go on break for too long, you lose interest. Yeah. Does it have like a Sons of Anarchy type vibe? I've heard that. Well, well it's just a matter of like how many people die. Like over right. the top type stuff. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like they say, uh, if somebody dies, they take them to the train station and basically they just take them to this mountain and throw them off the mountain. Right. Yeah. Because nobody's checking down there in the gullies, you know, but right. uh, I, I would imagine after a while, a hiker has to find 10 <laughs> dead bodies on right. there. Or the know? smell, yeah. the just buzzards everywhere. Also, the uh, daughter is so over the top. It's so, ridiculous. But I mean, I love her because she's so over the top. It's but so it, ridiculous. But it's so ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the Ruby Slippers from Wizard of Oz are on the auction block. The bidding is currently over $800,000. They say that they're going to be bought by the gayest man in the world. Oh. <laughs> One of the most iconic pieces of uh, uh, items from a movie. Yeah. I wouldn't take them for free. They had, last time I went to the Smithsonian, They those were on display in the yeah. Smithsonian. They probably right. loaned them for a while, and yeah. then they're like, now we're going to make our money off them and you know sell them. Uh, Gio sent me this story and he uh, sent a thing along with it that I completely agree with. Yes. This is because we talked about it. We talk about stuff. Stuff happens. Yeah. We talk about people. People die. We talk about things. People better hope we don't talk about it. I also <laughs> now 100% fully believe he's listening. Yeah. Could be. Tom Cruise. Oh. 
is looking to make a sequel to another of his action classics. It's Cocktail not one, two. Not one you'd expect. Oh. The actor is talking to Paramount about a follow-up to his 1990 NASCAR racing film, Days of Thunder. Yeah. On its surface, the idea seems rather bold because Thunder wasn't considered a box office hit. It, when it wasn't? No. It, it's released making $157 million globally with a production budget of $60 million, So it made just you know, okay. over $90 million, whatever, for a Tom Cruise movie. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, film received mixed to negative reviews from critics, it says. But having uh, received and modernized uh, 1986's Top Gun with the 2022 blockbuster Top Gun Maverick, the actor believes he can work similar magic with the racing drama. So I'm in. I love Days of Thunder. I don't like NASCAR. I love Days of Thunder. Sure, yeah. And um, when uh, that was his, what is his name? Uh, Riley, John C. Riley was yeah. ser- serious. John C. Riley, oh, yeah. Was yeah. Before, before he met before Will Ferrell, he yeah. But I mean, um, Tom Hagen's good in that movie. Robert Duvall, yeah. Robert Duvall. I mean, it's it's. I don't know. So you can't have old ass driver come back. So you have to do like no. He's a he's the owns the team or something for, yeah, or yeah. crew chief. Yeah, there's something with that. I mean, maybe it's his last chance. Or uh, we, I mean, that's true. The drivers do drive well into their sixties. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's uh, uh, this driver dropped out. This one, I mean, I got a guy. What he, was his name? Uh, Cole Trickle. Cole Trickle. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great racing name. Cole Trickle. Yeah. Uh, but NASCAR, way bigger now than it was before. Sure. When that movie was made. So, yeah, it would be an uh, entirely different movie. Oh, well, good. I hope he does it. We argued about it on this show. Days yes. of Thunder. When the Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise thing. Right. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. Tom heard that. And it's like, you know what? I should make Days of Thunder too. All right. Yeah, because Galvin said he would not trade Days of Thunder over the Tom Cruise movie. Tom Hanks. Or Tom Hanks, rather. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I mean, really, it was me. So hello, you're, thank you, Tom Cruise. I love your movies. Hello, you're, Tom. No, you're I better than Tom Hanks. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if he's heard the show. No, I bet his son has. I mean, he's in yeah. Clearwater often. Yeah, his yeah. son heard the show, and he's like, "Dad, you're not going to believe it." I met the son. Didn't seem very interested in meeting me. <laughs> Wasn't a fan. Yeah. Uh, or either that or he's very cool and calm when he yeah. when he met his idol. Yeah, I don't know. He um, he seemed like a nice enough kid, but he did not have any interest in... Yeah. in the, they but introduced you also, me as Mike from the radio, too. Right, but you also have to imagine how many people he's met in his lifetime, like and celebrities. What, yeah, caliber of people. Oh, I'm just saying, like, right. yeah, it, it, he, but, you know, if he didn't, he didn't, a lot of times people go like, uh, hey, do you know Mike Calder from The Bone? They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, my husband listens, or I know, yeah, he did not have any. Right, but this kid, it probably listens to Skrillex and then gets to go DJ a set with him. Right. Or, you know what right, I mean? Right. So, like, meeting you. Plus, everybody's I trying know. to get to my dad all the time. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. act like they like me, but they really just want to talk to my dad. That that must be very frustrating. Yeah. Which, because uh, that's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, uh, you know what you should ask him? How's your mother doing? <laughs> don't ask about his father. Just ask about the mother. We go to the same Starbucks. I yeah. can only assume. I don't know that Tom Cruise ever goes to Starbucks, but it's the one that's closest to his house. You should one day leave, I'm going to run into him. You should leave a uh, sugar cookie coffee there for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you see a really good looking 60 something year old man roll in here. In what I assume is a really nice classic car. No. I, dr- I So I drive, when I stay in Clearwater, I drive over to the uh, Starbucks. I go in there, and on the way out, I uh, I came back and Amanda, I gave Amanda our coffee. I go, I saw Tom Cruise. So she goes, You did? And I go, Yeah, a well, Ferrari passed by me, and I could only assume that's, I mean, nobody else can have a yeah. Ferrari in that vicinity. It has to be Tom. Well, yeah. he's got her. You can drive right into the building and it takes you up. Yeah, that's, great. that's nice. Uh, finally, in news, researchers at the University of Toronto found that if you submit a piece of work late, people will think it's lower in quality than if you were to submit the exact same work on time or early. Uh, so, in other words, not only do you take a hit for being late, but extra effort is immediately canceled out by yeah. the late work seeming worse than anything that was uh, done by the deadline. Simple reason is it makes you look less competent because yeah, you're turning the I thing in late. That. Unless you have a history of taking your time to do it right. Yeah, but you know. uh, they did a series of experiments where they showed people in management positions the same exa- examples of work, including advertising flyers, art, business proposals, different stuff like that. They also noted if the work was submitted early 
on time or late, and the managers consistently rated the late work worse mm. in quality compared to the same exact work, which was labeled early or on time. That's interesting. Yeah, a couple of different uh, details about it. It didn't matter if the work was early. The work scored the same as the stuff that was submitted at the deadline. So it doesn't matter whether it's early. As long as you have it by the deadline, mm, just right. don't be late with it. Uh, it mattered. Uh, did not matter how late the work was. Late was late. So if it was two minutes or two hours or two days, it was like, yeah, it was late. So that's no good. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you're on time. No, nope. no. something like that. Oh, I, I, never liked, I never liked that. I saw a woman put a thing on uh, that. I know on Facebook the other day, she said, if you uh, get to, if you have a meeting and you get there more than 15 minutes early, you're late. No. And early. I, I mean, sorry, uh, later than 15 minutes early, you're late. And I went like, no. Like that's not if you if you give somebody a time to be there, they'll be there by that time. That's on time, and that's a waste of time. I think anywhere between ten to five five minutes. At five least. minutes is fine. Five, well, five yeah. minutes early is good. And it Ten minutes on what it is. Here's my thing: yeah. is I'm probably going to be there fifteen minutes early, but I'm not going to go to the meeting right. until less than five minutes. Why do yeah. you think you get there so early? I just I think my father. I think I always have. I've had that instilled in me for a long time because. I don't like any complications and there's always something that comes up or whatever. So I just always like to be there early. I don't like to rush. Yeah. Uh, and I don't like to be in a panic to be like, Oh, I'm going to get it there late. Yeah. And traffic. And, right. To yeah. me, showing up late is one of the worst things you can do for anything. <laughs> yeah. Bad look. It's Very a bad disrespectful. Look. Yeah. I feel like this is all about me. No, uh, I tell my, my wife and kids all the time. Cause sometimes we like late to like practice or something like that for sports. I'm like, this is the worst. This yeah. is so bad. I don't want to be rushing around. Yeah, Nothing is worse stuff. than being late to something. I do feel like I'm on time for most things outside of work. Like like kids games and all that yeah. stuff. I'm early. I I I have good track record on that. But um, work and meeting Pete are the things I'm always late at. Because Pete, I'd always be like, I'm on the bridge, and he'd be like, No, you're not. Like, yeah. You're not yeah. yeah. And um, and then the other thing is uh, work stuff. I just feel like uh, it'll happen when I get there. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, hey, look, the uh, Germany game is this weekend. I know. I saw oh, that. I was watching. Oh, nice. They were showing some clips uh, from the last time in Munich. I was like, oh, man, that was so much fun. I missed the Hofbrau house. Oh, we got to go back. Oh, we should go back. Uh, some of the other stuff here with the uh, work being late or on time and different stuff. Uh, the reason behind the uh, missed deadline mattered. It did matter if they were focused, uh, if there were forces beyond uh, an employee's control, such as jury duty or elevators didn't end up uh, with... Uh, Oh, evaluators. I said elevators. Oh, yeah. Evaluators didn't end up with a negative view. So if there was something, they were like, oh, they, right. that's a legit excuse. Okay, fine. So it's all mental. Uh, and then researchers also found the negative effects weren't as severe if they described the deadline or work as not particularly important. So if it was something they're like, hey, you turned it in two hours late, but it's not something we need until Monday. Right. So. You know, that's interesting type of things. Yeah, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm very much deadline. I'll have it done. I'll have it ready. To yeah. Go. Kind of thing. Like, I don't know. I just, in my mind, everything's like that. Just, you know. It's funny because even, uh, you know, you, you're late to a lot of stuff. Uh, even <laughs> you are. Even well. with, uh, like, Pitbull Toddler, I'm always there early. First off, I'm there early because I have to check my sound and do everything. I have to do all that stuff. And uh, I have to get it done before. I don't want, you know, everybody there and whatever. But I will be driving in and I'll be, like, uh, not going to be 15 minutes early. I'm going to be five minutes early. And I'm like, I'm going to be late this and that. And I'm like, I know I'll beat Mike and beat. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> no big deal. We, uh, have, we have a big, uh, big dinner tomorrow. Yeah. Carmen, are you going to that? Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Never mind. No, I'm kidding. I just was wondering if you had football. No football's tonight. Oh, on Thursday. Yeah, it's a makeup game, oh. and for whatever reason, uh, well, the original game was on Thursday because there was like a Jewish holiday on Friday. Right. So they were playing Thursday, and so now, that worked out perfect. Yeah, there's a bunch of games tonight. Making it up, yeah. Are you going to the dinner? No, I don't, think, I don't think so. Why? I got stuff to do. Oh, what a jerk! Why we plan a dinner like I, 24 hours before I, it's supposed I, to happen? I gotta be honest with you, it was a quick. Quick yeah, dinner thing. I was like, yeah, all right. Hey, guys, can you guys go to dinner tomorrow? Right, <laughs> like, yeah. Joe, you going? You know, I'm not sure. Oh, oh my God. Why? 
Why? It, you know it's free. I know it's free. Oh. I know. It's I think free. they planned it though. That's no, no. close so that nobody <laughs> would go. No, no. It's uh, my my mom has some issues that oh, I yeah. yeah. got to address. Yeah. So. so it's gonna be me and Galvin and Carmen. No, I want to go. I would like to go. I just want to make sure that I have that stuff taken care of. I would like to go too, but you know, let's give some more. What do you next have time. going on? I got stuff. Like yeah, what? I don't believe you have stuff. I'll right. bring you a doggy bag. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. I mean, me, Galvin, and everything. there. Who plans a dinner like a day before? By the way, it was a week. Don't say it like you're any treat. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, By I'm the way, saying you're the good part of it. Me, me, me you, Galvin. Carmen's going to be there. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm not going now. I keep forgetting, no, I keep forgetting because yeah, no. I keep thinking you have football. Yeah, no, I'm out. And then uh, John and Jason. I got an early night. I don't think Jason's going. Oh, yeah. I thought no? he was good. No. No? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is a horrible idea. <laughs> I like it. It's actually a lot Jeez. better now. Yeah. I'm fine with it. So I, might, I might bring a date. So it's you. Can we? Since we no. got. I mean, can we? Uh, I asked John. I actually asked John. Uh, uh, Gustavo. Other people. <laughs> Gustavo. <laughs> Gustavo. <Okay. laughs> I asked uh, Gustavo, are other people going? Like, I didn't know whether other people from the station or whether it was just a show thing. And he said just the show. Oh, so we probably shouldn't talk about it. But then I didn't know whether. Uh, oh. It was like. Because uh, I'm bringing Johnny B. Oh. I'm bringing Swan or anything. I'm going to bring Spike. You're not even going. No. Send him as your proxy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll send Spike in. How do, yeah. how do. Just show up. Here he, here he. He just wants to talk about 47. Mm hmm. So, all right. So, this is awkward now. Just me and Galvin. Yeah. Carmen. I'll know more by tomorrow, Mike. Yeah. It's going to be weird spending time with people you spend all of your time yeah. with all the yeah. time. Ah, I mean, like a uh, social. The idea yeah. is for all of us to go. I'm good. Uh, I hope you don't go now. What? You're on the edge of. I would like to go, but you know, let's... what do you have that's so important? By the way, speaking of uh, being garbage and not going to things, you're not going to a dinner. Who said? Oh. Who said it was garbage? You were implying. Okay, it was implied. What dinner am I not? Yeah. I'm not. This sweet old. Oh man, yeah, this sweet old man's birthday oh, party. Yeah, no. that, He's, I'm not you're not miss. going. I'm out of town. Wow. He planned it after I told him. How convenient. He planned it after I told him. <laughs> I how, did. How does that make you feel, Joe? I feel it makes me feel very low in myself. It hurts. And I, I will have bad. a present for you before you leave. Oh. Okay. Mm. Uh, right. Your present was being there. <laughs> no. I don't think Joe cares. No, I, I, I do care, Michael. He did tell me yesterday. He was like, kind of upset. So who's going to your birthday? You guys? Oh, you don't Glenn, need to know. You don't know. If you're not going you're on the outs. Then, yeah. The yeah. Glenn Spockles are I am, going. Uh, I'm talking to Pants today, and we're finalizing the guest list and yeah. getting it all squared away. Mm -hmm. I got to check my schedule, by the way, on that. Nope. Uh, you're already, you're already uh, locked Harmony, in. Harmony, you going? It's playoffs. No, it's, no, it's uh, not. I'm definitely going, yeah. Okay. I would definitely go, but I, I will be out of town. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's all right, Michael. I'm, I'm, just, a, I'm out of town, too. Just like your wedding, Joe. You're, you're already locked in, Joe. Yeah. I'll send just you. Just give me a credit card. Come to the next one, Michael. You don't go to the Bye. dinner. You don't go to the party. Just give me your credit card. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll send no, you already committed to the dinner. I'll send. I'm bring. Uh, oh, is that why you're mad that I'm not going? What? Because I can't pay for it? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Everyone's... And you're asking for credit cards now? Well, everyone's on their own, yeah. Oh. But it's a uh, family style, so it's going to be, you know, where they bring out the stuff. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah. For those reasons, I'm out. Right. No, you're in. You don't like family style. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait until I show you. Oh. It's a bunch of different burgers. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, we got to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk to Cody Tucker. Ian Finance will be here. And then in the uh, 9 o'clock hour, we'll talk to Martine and do our football picks. It's the Mike Calta Show. It's 1025 The Bone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we talk to him every Wednesday on the show. Time to, Cody, wait till you hear this. Yeah, buddy. check this out. Now you're legit. Oh. Was John Candy going to be Superman? Huh? Where did the phrase break a leg come from? And did a guy really have his wiener out in the final scene of the movie Teen Wolf? Let's find out. Please welcome from the Cody Tucker Show on YouTube. Here's Cody, Cody Tucker, Tucker on the Mike Kelta Show. I like that. Now you're, now you're official. You got your own intro. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Uh, what's happening, Cody? Live from uh, Texas. You can find him on Instagram at the Cody Tucker Show. Also on uh, YouTube, the same. I don't know why. I don't know if you've seen an uptick on uh, Thursday mornings uh, as far as followers go, but um, it seems like after the show, for some reason, I spend the day answering people's emails. What's that guy's? What's that guy's Instagram? What's that guy's Instagram? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, Cody Tucker. You can find him at the Cody Tucker Show. Uh, what do you have uh, coming up? Well, what do you have for us this weekend? So I got a couple of rock and roll stories. Okay. Ooh, all right. Um, 
So first one, uh, in 1975, Iggy Pop was put into a mental institution uh, while he was going through a massive uh, cocaine addiction. So while he's in the institution, two of his friends decided that they should pay him a visit because most likely he would uh, be running low on drugs. (laughs) So his two friends showed up wearing space suits and were somehow able to get into the facility. (laughs) They got in, went to his room, and just did a bunch of drugs with Iggy Pop. In now, rehab. Reason, in, in rehab. Well, in a mental institution. In a mental institution dressed as spacemen. Yes. Now, the reason that those two were able to enter the facility is because the nurses were pretty starstruck. The reason they were so starstruck is because those two friends were Dennis Hopper and David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, that, makes, that makes a little bit more sense. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see. So after the Beatles released Yellow Submarine, they planned on releasing an album called Everest. And for that album cover, they were planning on flying out to Nepal and taking a band photo at the base of Mount Everest. Wow. Now, Paul McCartney did not want to do this at all. Said, this is going to be a waste of time. I don't care about going. So he suggested that they just go outside, take a picture outside of the studio, which they did. That now iconic album cover was named after the street they were crossing, oh, Abbey Road. Genius. That's interesting. I wonder yeah. why you didn't want to go. Yeah, too cold, long yeah. trip. And, yeah. You know I mean, you know, it's part of the, I don't want to go to Mount Everest, but if I went there as a beetle where I got people flying me and dropping me off and taking care of me, I'd be all right. There. Yeah, probably. Yeah. probably. Uh, yeah, I think I'd go anywhere if I was going on a private jet. Yeah. I'd go to Cleveland. I don't know, Cody. I'm going to be honest with you. Have you you've never been on a private jet? No, it's not no, that. It's not that great. Not. It's but you, you know what? We're big guys, and as a big guy, it's I feel I get very claustrophobic on them because you're only looking at like six, eight seats. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, I, I mean, don't get me great. wrong. It's great when you're like I went to uh, Fort Lauderdale in a, in a private jet, and it, it it we it shoots you straight up in the air. Like uh, it usually take a climb. This is no climb. It shoots you yeah. straight up. And then you're like, this is awesome. And then next thing you know, we're cleared to land. You, you have no idea. It just goes so fast. So also, I was on that. I was in that private jet with a bunch of strippers, and that was actually really fun. Mm. Well, yeah. I yeah. mean, I think being locked in a tight space with a bunch of strippers is nothing to complain about. Well, then I went on a on a yacht with them, and it was it was guys who um, who owned a big company, and they had a big yacht, and they had airplanes, and. They were staying down at Fort Lauderdale, and they were like, come down to Fort Lauderdale and bring a bunch of whores with you. So we did that, and we went down and we brought the whores, and we went out on their big yacht, and while we were out there, I got seasick. All these girls are all drunk and riding jet skis and having a great time. Yeah. I'm in the little bed thing just sitting there turning green the whole time, so that kind of sucked a little bit, too. Yeah, sounds like a sounds like a family reunion. <laughs> That's Yeah. What does a guy like you? What does a guy like you do uh, on the weekends? What are you doing in uh, Texas this weekend? Oh man, I really don't do a whole lot. Yeah, I just kind of yeah, kind of just stay to myself, watch movies, play a little guitar here and there. What is your you favorite know? movie? A Jurassic Park, hands down. Really, the dinosaur yeah. movie. Love it. Seen it over five hundred times. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, why? which that could be that could be the autism kicking in. A little <laughs> bit, but, yeah. why, why is it that you're so attracted to Jurassic? Like I don't care. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying. Yeah, what yeah. is it about it the Jurassic like you're Park? Judging him. No, no, no. Yeah. Like, you can you can judge. No, I mean, no, no. Here's fair. why. I'll tell you because Cody seems like a very well-rounded, uh, smart guy, and that I was expecting him to say a movie that I was like, really, that boring movie is the one you like. But then instead, he goes a blockbuster hit, Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, I'm not a fan of boring uh, anything. Yeah, I like uh, I like yeah, I like dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like Jeff Goldblum. So yeah. you put those two together, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. hell of a so. combo. I guess so. You're hilarious. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> what do you got coming up on the Cody Tucker show? So uh, just did an episode with um Clifton Collins Jr. Great guy. I don't know if you remember? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, great guy, great actor. Yeah, and then. Uh, yeah, just got a few more scheduled that uh that'll be coming out, of course, with the old uh, adult film stars as, yeah. as always. But uh Clifton Collins Jr., uh great childhood friend of Slash. Was he really? Oh yeah, yeah. He uh no, he you and just Slash taught are, Cody something. He he and Slash are very good friends and um he is uh he's a good actor. You see him, he plays kind of the same character in, in uh, the movies, but um he does a good job. Like he's a good actor. Oh, he's incredible. Like yeah. Capote. I don't know if you ever watched Capote, but I mean, he is 
amazing in that movie. He he uh, also was in a movie called Sunshine Cleaning Club, I think, about uh, two girls, two sisters who start a uh, a business to that um, cleaners cl- cleaners, but they clean like yeah. mur- murder scenes and stuff. He's in that movie too. Yeah, he was on uh, he was on Westworld for a little while yeah. too. Yeah, he's been in a yeah. ton of different things. Yeah, uh, long long time uh, friend of uh, slashes. I know that for sure. All right, yeah. Cody. Well, it's good talking to you. Uh, we like to check in with you every Thursday, get a little bit of knowledge. Like I like when you do the stuff, Cody. About like you're like an 18th century England. That's why I didn't expect Jurassic Park. I thought you were going to be like, uh, oh no, I'm a big fan of whatever movie. You know what about yeah? The, I mean, uh, what about the I mean, apoc- like Apocalypse Now would be a close second. Right. Okay, I guess if that counts as like kind of an artsy. I mean, it's sort of an artsy movie, but uh, Geo has a good question. What about the Jurassic Park sequels? Rank them, hate them, hate them all, all, hate every every. Well, actually, the third one's not terrible uh, with Bill Macy and uh, Taylor Leone. Oh, I like that when they go back to the island. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a good one. Kid, that one's not that bad. But I'll tell you, man, those other ones are some of the worst movies ever made. I just noticed over your right shoulder there's a Jurassic Park movie poster there. I did not see the license plate. Have you been to Universal Studios here? No. Oh, come on, Cody, you're missing out. Well, yeah. I don't know. Am I? (laughs) (laughs) We'll get you you a private jet. We'll fly you up. I was going to say, if I had a private jet, I would send it to you. Uh, Give me a bowl full of Xanax. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever been uh, here to Florida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Disney World a few times as a kid. Yeah. And then we used to go to Sanibel Island every summer oh, for sure. yeah, like, yeah, vacation. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. the most boring place. Tampa right? a few times at Bush Gardens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I met, Mar- I met uh, Marilyn Manson at Bush Gardens. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> kid. Just yeah. randomly yeah. walking around? Yeah. He was there with uh, like about seven security guards and uh, like what? this girl in line was telling my mom like, uh, oh, Marilyn Manson's here. And I was like, oh, we got to find him. <laughs> ran, a, ran around the whole place and we ended up finding him. <laughs> Want to hear a funny story about Marilyn Manson? Um, oh, yeah. When, in the height of his success, he came here to do a show. And I went to the um, I went to the show with uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Remember him, the wrestler? And oh, yeah. uh, it was me and my wife, who was my girlfriend at the time, Randy Savage and his girlfriend, and a couple other stragglers. And we went to the show. And we waited backstage. And we were in an office that my brother used to work at when the Tampa Bay Storm, the arena football team, played in the mm-hmm. uh, Emily Arena. And we're waiting and waiting. And we're just standing there. There's no record people. There's nothing going on. And we're like, what's going on? So I go, you know, this was my brother's office. If you go around the corner here, there's locker rooms. And I went around the corner, and there was Marilyn Manson in the dark, sitting in a chair, just staring straight ahead. He'd been there the whole time we were in the room right next door to him. <laughs> and it, was, it scared the living crap out of me. And then uh, we talked to him, and he was super nice, and he was cool to my wife. I remember my wife was, because everybody was like, I was like, hey, I'm from the radio station, and Randy was like, I'm, you know, Randy Savage, and he was, yes. and then my wife's like, I'm just me, and he was super nice to my wife. And then uh, this is not even the best. The best part is uh, Randy Savage took the picture of Marilyn Manson and I on a disposable camera, and two days later he called me and he was like, hey. and I go, hey, and he goes, I get some bad news, and I go, okay, what is it? And he goes. I got the pictures back. Your picture didn't come out. And I go, oh, okay. And he goes, is it? And I go, well, yeah, I guess it is. And he goes, that'd be kind of a good one to have. And I go, okay. I don't know if you want me to cry about it or not, but yes, I'm very disappointed. I did not get my picture of Marilyn Manson, but I did have a spooky experience with him. I did not get to ride any roller coasters with him though. Yeah. I mean, that's really all you can ask for. Good <laughs> spooky experience. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cody Tucker, uh, it's good to talk to you. We'll check in with you again next week. Thanks, man. Right, See you uh, then. See you, man. Go. I love that guy. Yeah, he's good. I just think he's just a fun kid. Uh, and super smart. Do you know he does stand up? No. Oh. Oh, you did not know no. that. No. Yeah, he does stand up. Cause I uh I followed him the other day. I think I was looking for uh something, whatever. And I was like, oh, you know, I did not see his stand-up, though. But uh, I think he has an album out, and yeah. Get him back on the horn. <laughs> Get him back on the horn. So you were not aware of that? I'm rejoining. Okay. I'm trying to get Cody Tucker back. No, I was completely unaware of that. He, he seems like he's so shy. I'm trying to get him fired up right here now. And there's no clips of it? Uh, I'm sure there's clips of it. Let me see. I I, I feel like I would have seen that. 
Uh, it looks like it was a while ago because he does not have long hair and doesn't have the beard. Really? Yeah. I just texted him and asked him to rejoin. Look okay. at uh, look at young Cody Tucker. Up oh on my stage. god! Yeah. All right. I was unaware. All right. Can we get it back on there? Yeah, I, I texted him to see if he'll jump back on. We get it. We get it. If not, uh, phone lines are wide open. 800-771-1025. Ian Fidance will be here. Ian is a, a very funny guy and uh, does a great podcast with Jordan Jensen that I enjoy. I don't, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really watch it. I don't listen to any podcast or watch any podcast, but I just watch clips. Of I see all the clips. Yeah. yeah, clips, yeah. And that's good enough. Yeah. I don't think uh, Jordan has been down here. I know Ian's been here a bunch, but I don't know whether she's been down here. I like her. I think she's very funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very funny. All right. Don't worry about it. Julia. Okay. We'll get, we'll save it for next week. Oh, well, okay. uh, you got it? No, no. Oh, yeah, he didn't right. text me back. No, no big deal. All right. Cool. Uh, we will take a break. When we come back, hopefully Ian will be here with us next. It's a Mike Calt the show. This is 1025 The Bone. Ian. Is it Fidance or Fidance? How do you say it? It's such an awkward name. Fidance. Because it sounds so much like finance I know. with an unnecessary D. Fidance. So it's Fidance. I've been with saying it right. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not an awkward name. It is. It it's doesn't sound name. like a comedian name. What's it, What sounds like a comedian name? Uh, Gallagher. Jangles. <laughs> Gallagher. <laughs> Jangles. <laughs> Ian Jangles is here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Ian Jangles. <laughs> Ian no, Jingles Jangles here. Fidance is not a bad name. It's just uh, I didn't know if I was saying it right or wrong. So many people say Fidance. But do you correct them? I don't them? even know if it's Fidance anymore. <laughs> do, you, do, you ca- do you correct them when they say uh, your name? I, I really don't care. I mean, it's Fidance, Fidance. How as do you say my last spell name? It right. Uh, Salta? It's up on the wall. <laughs> up on the wall. Yeah, of course, Calta. But people How, say people call Calta. Calta all, all the time. All the time. Calta. Yeah. Yeah. Calta. Calta. I couldn't care less. My dad gets very yeah. upset. I he corrects people. I it's, don't care. It's about. strange, though, because didn't uh, Nate Bargatze say that people were saying his name wrong? And then yeah, it's Bargatze. Yeah, Bargatze. And then Bargazzi. he's like, oh, it's Bargatze now. And then you have, uh, uh, what's her name? Carmina Peace, who's a drummer, and his brother, who's a drummer, Vinny Apice. Yeah. What? They yeah. say their name, their own last name, the brothers, both pronounce it differently. Carmine Ape- Apice, Vinny Apice. There was a, my uncle, Joey Picciotti, they, he was friends with this jeweler growing up, uh-huh. and then he started like a jeweler empire in Wilmington, Delaware. John V.A. Jewelers. Sure and VA. It, the, annou- the ad would come on the radio and be like, it's not the name, it's freaking Jan <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, Ian is here. It's good to see you. Yes, good to see you. Um, we were talking about your podcast with Uh-oh. Jordan Jensen. Yes. Which I will uh, be honest with you, I've never listened to. Same way I've never listened to Joe Rogan Experience. Really? I, yeah, but I've seen a bunch of it. You I've look seen a like bun- you listen all the time. <laughs> <laughs> never. I, I, have, uh, I only know show even Theo. I never listen to the Theo clips. through the clips, yep. which I love, and yep. I'll ingest as many clips as I can. Yeah. And I, I will be honest. Love your clips. Thank you. I watched I watched a clip the other day three times. It made me laugh so hard. It was you had a guest on the show who didn't know Jordan did comedy. Yeah. And she was so angry by that. that oh, it was she, the best. Oh, it was absolutely great. It was so... I was... So, she goes... I could not have been happier. You do stand up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She goes, you do stand up? She goes, yeah, what do you think I'm doing here? Yeah. She gets all annoyed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was great. Yeah. I, I legit was like... It just like a seal and a wall, like (laughs) 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 laughing and unable to control. It brought me so much joy. Yeah, (laughs) it was amazing. It was Um, such a great ego check. Is she a lesbian? No, no, right? She's not. The other chick was. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to remember now. Everybody thinks Jordan's a lesbian, right? And she's not because she looks like she's got an angry face. Yeah, right. it, the, sh- the show works because she's the masculine energy and I'm the feminine energy. <laughs> right. So right, right, it right. kind of you know works. I out. feel like uh, surprisingly, I'm I'm way more feminine than I than you would think by looking at me. Yeah, yeah, like I'm a delicate flower. Define feminine for you. Like um, I'm taking the easy way out. I want to be comfortable. I, I'm not running through the I woods. I think you're confusing feminine with pussy. Yes, yeah. I'm a huge pussy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's not feminine. I'll that's f- just lazy. Uh, yeah, that too. That too. <laughs> I think feminine's more. You're the little spoon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, feminine's yeah. more like you talk with your hands and you're in touch with your emotions. I'm totally in touch with my emotions. And, well, that's good. Yeah. And uh, maybe you cross your legs when you talk. <laughs> yes, you know? I do things. 
that are uh, that are feminine sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I I, I will admit that. Um, but at the same time, very masculine. Yeah, I am the same way. I I feel like I'm a a a, a, a feminine alpha. Oh, just the way you said that. <laughs> I don't yeah, think so. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I'll kick your ass if you don't tell your friends that you love them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what says I love you the most to me in yeah. my life is Bobby Kelly. Yeah. Which is quite annoying to me. I that is maybe like do you say I love you back to to people, the guys? Yeah. I know. All right, love you, dude. See you later. Yeah, I don't have that Why? in me. Why? Not I. I do Don't you love look you. The people, you know, to know it. I do. I will tell them I do love you, but I'm not going to say it every time. It just. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, like you say it on on goodbye. Yeah. I right, see, dude. Love you. Or no. out of nowhere. Hey, you know what? I love you. I appreciate you. Ugh. Thank you. Mm, appreciate no? you. Appreciate you. See, I can handle. You're a. I. Whoops. I can't cuss. No. You're, you're an F and P. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? No, let's not say that either. Oh, yeah. Say. Whoops. Ah, crap. Um, uh, so, yeah. Uh, I, it's it's weird because I do love people. Like my father. I love my father. Mm-hmm. But we do not do a lot of I love you. And I know my father loves me. Like I'm. It's mm-hmm. not like well, my father never. But it's just. Yeah. It's unnecessary. I think there's a nice balance. I think you can be too like, uh, hey, dude, I I love you. Hey, I miss you. I love you. Hope you're well. I think that's fine. But yeah. there's like, uh, there can be an over feminization yes. of that yeah. where I I can't imagine, you know, like raising a kid and just being so soft of like, hey, just want to check in, tell you. That well, I love you. I will tell you yeah. though, and it's like, well, maybe I have that point of view because I didn't get that. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, my oh, son I wish is... I wanted that, but I have to act like it's it's a soft type thing. My son is 18. Yeah, and he hangs out with like rap people and all that, and I, he still is like, uh, love you every night. Yeah, it's I love beautiful. You, love you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's different. My kids are different. Yeah, it's just other people. Mm. Except my like my wife and kids, I'm down with it. But like strangers and birds, keep comedians. adding things onto it. Yeah, well, I'm just saying my wife and kids, comedians, strangers, no comedians. my mailman, no, no, no. I, the woman at the, the Starbucks. <laughs> oh, she's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Now, what is your deal? You you are uh, single and in, in a relationship. What do you got? Oh man, I am. Uh, I've been single for a while i've been staying out of relationships on purpose on purpose right and i think i'm uh moving towards wanting to be in a relationship i th- but i i'm very scared how old of, are you i'm 39 oh yeah you gotta get uh, well You're i mean that, that's the thing <laughs> that's the thing i don't have to i no, can like i very to. much have been enjoying doing what i want when i want going here going there you know going to different towns, hooking up, but then it's like so lonely and unfulfilling yeah. that I'm now like, I think I want a partner. I do want a partner, but I, I just stayed away from it for so long. Cause I had, I had, uh, I got hurt in a relationship and I was like, this isn't good for me for now. I want to stay. Don't wanna, I don't miss own. that, man. I've been married for a long time. I don't miss f- breaking up like that kind of stuff. Either you're yeah. sad or you feel bad you did it to somebody else. Well, I mean, my my ex ex, the like big serious one, we lived together and she left and she took one of the cats and we got together. Oh. But instead of going into like a deep depression, I just was like, I'll show her. And I built my podcast studio uh, in my basement. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know? manifested it through success. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, what does she do? Uh, she was a bartender and going to school for um, psychology. And did she get out or is she still tending bar? See, because I love, I well, was, we got, we got back together. And oh, then it, come didn't, on. it didn't work out and then tried to stay friends and that, that didn't work. So I, my, le- the last thing I said to her was, yeah, it was a bad idea. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> I have an ex fiance. Wow. And uh, she was always like master's degree, getting her PhD, smart, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And I was always the dummy that she thought would be a loser. And mm. now, and I uh, stay in touch with her. Really? That's so nice. that I, and the other day, she, I talked to her and she said, um, dude, all you do is talk about you. I go, yes. Wow. Everything I say to you is to make you feel bad about thinking that I would not be successful. I so want why you to, do you? 
Well, keep we don't talk like that in your life. We don't. No, we don't talk it, like a case. Like she. How often hit, do you talk? Maybe a couple of times a year. She hit right. me up uh, right. But we had two hurricanes back to back here, and she hit me up and said, "Hey, are you right. doing with the hurricanes?" Like that kind of relationship, you know. Hey, did you, make sure you're you're found out your mom died. Once. Did you ever think that was kind of like a slide to get back into your life? No, I don't. that happened to me with Sandy Hook. Uh, why? What? Because I, I used to be a teacher, and that was like, uh, hey, this was such a, teacher, a tragic that went wrong. Uh, su- such a tragedy is. You know, as a teacher, it must have been, are you all right? Do you need to talk? I was like, I do need to talk, actually. This is kind of a good idea. You know? uh, no, no. This, I think this bitch likes to just try to throw things in my face every once in a while. And I'm like, touche. I got you beat on that. I'm doing Wow. Right yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think it's, it's, all, so it's all subliminal, though. It's great. Oh, What's I your like... wife think about that? Oh, I'm. Uh, she doesn't know that. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. She <laughs> Don't tell her. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard to talk about things on the radio. And she doesn't care. She, I don't. Yeah. I don't really like talk to her on the reg. She just hit me up that one time and was like, right. hey. and then I went on a series with how great my life was. That's <laughs> what we do. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so uh, you will will you hook up while you're in town this weekend? <sighs> I'm amazed by you because mm. you are very in touch with your sexuality. You will hook yes. up with a dude or a girl, unless you oh you're making the face like you moved away. I. It's been a while, really, since I hooked up with a guy. Yeah, like yeah. six or seven days. I and know. I th- oh, <laughs> no, I that's a long. No, I, 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 you relax. In guy years, that's a long. Ten time. days. <laughs> um, no, I that that's the thing. I I feel like uh, I am blown away by that. Guys for me are more like uh, like you know how like I treat it like bread. I okay. stay away, but you know sometimes you get to have a cheat day. Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> And then you know it's like you, you eat so you, much you get sick. Do you, oh, <laughs> do you think? Do you think that you maybe would be happier in a relationship with a guy? No, I've tried it. And yeah. It just and and also I've I've only ever been attracted. Like if I have a girlfriend, a lot of times my friendships with women will start like, "Hey, I like you." No, and I'm like, "All right, well, I liked you for a reason, so let's just be yeah, friends." Yeah. And I've never been with like my best guy friend and being like, Justin, let's just do this. I, I wish that I could be like, my best yeah. friend, uh, Pete. I, I say to him, I wish you were just a little better looking. Cause I know. it would be the best. We lived together for five years, never had a fight. It was yeah. the greatest time ever. Yeah. yeah. But he's just not my type. I know. I know. He is. That whole penis thing throws me mm. off. I know. And, and the other thing is I'm not, uh, like I'm, I'm uh, Jason Ellis was in here last week. Mm-hmm. Jason Ellis dating a girl now. Yes. Uh, but he had just done all this gay stuff and mm-hmm. you know, on his Instagram and all that. Not Instagram, but OnlyFans and mm-hmm. all this thing. And now all of a sudden he's dating a girl in a monogamous relationship. Well, I, I think we we got it wrong for the past however many years talking about this stuff ad nauseum where people were like, gender is a construct and there's yeah. 1,500 different genders, but yet sexuality is such a binary and I think it's a complete opposite. Um, there's only two genders. Yeah. But saying that right now. Yeah. Kidding, guys. There's three. <laughs> um, and uh, I think there's sexuality is so much more of a spectrum. And a lot of people look at it in a way of like, you I, you did it once. You're that forever, pal. And yeah. it's like, no, it doesn't have to be that way. I, but look, I have to tell you, I, I, I admire your uh the way you treat it the way you're open about oh, it and the way you nice. but, I do, but i do because uh, i'm not that way but i'm interested like jim norton uh yeah. is so intriguing to me yeah uh, i've met his wife she's a lovely lady she's and great he seems to be very happy yeah. which for all these years i'm no so Jim. happy for he him wasn't and, happy yeah, yeah so happy for them who do you think in this room would be most likely to hook up with a guy uh well statistically there's Gonna be at least two. Mm. Uh, two. Oh, no. So I... BT is one. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen him drive, so definitely BT. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> interesting car ride home. Yeah. yeah. In, in BT, traffic. by the way, is got. <laughs> Hurry up. He's got us huh? beat all. He's got the hottest, coolest wife yeah. ever. And do uh, you know she revealed to me why she is so into you? Why you, uh, you got a hog? No, <laughs> I mean, he, I, he may, but that's not, he, she's like, 
I am so into him, and I am so whipped over him, and he couldn't care less about me, and that's what makes me like nope. him the most. Uh, you really got that <laughs> nailed down perfect. The BT stands for Big Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. He may be hung like a pony, I don't know, but yeah. you can tell mentally he's got her whipped. Mm. Yeah. Because mm. I know, I know, I know. Several guys have tried to take her out of that place. Uh, Nick DiPaolo tried to marry her. What? And a whole bunch of other things. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Um, oh my goodness! I told BT I'd give away my whole twenty-year relationship with him tomorrow. No way. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, I don't know how my wife would feel about that, but no, seriously, it's just she's a very cool, very attractive girl, but she loves him. That's, and that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so fortunate. Way to go, Big Thunder. See, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so yeah. out of the four of us. Uh-huh. Which one do you think would be most likely? To? You. Me. Oh. Yeah. Because no. you made the comment, I wish. No. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, true. yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. I, I I think out of the four of us, it's Joe. No. But I why? think I, because why? back from the 50s or 60s when you guys used to do orgies and do acid and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe orgies and acid, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't cross certain lines, Michael. Right I now. feel like you may have yeah. crossed the line once or twice. Well, that outfit did. says otherwise. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's the, the hair fashion. and the hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the fashion icon of the show. Yeah. 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 Enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, no, I love it. <laughs> I'm not saying you did, Joe. I'm just saying if I had a bet on one of us. All right. Well, okay. And then he just goes, I'm an old man. I'm confused. Yeah, right, What's yeah. going on? That's how I'm going to be when I'm about 68. I'm just going to take my wiener out everywhere and be like, wow, I'm old. Well, I didn't know. Yeah. You did some weird stuff when you were in California. I never did anything that weird. Joe. <laughs> yeah. Joe. I mean, yeah, I did it's some weird. drugs. Yeah. I went to yeah. some raves. I yeah. Weird stuff. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Go yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, nothing, raves is where it happens. <laughs> nothing uh-huh. sexually questionable. Yeah, but back weird. then, didn't you call drugs cock? <laughs> 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 I can't say that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you did. <laughs> no. I th- I'm so, we were just talking about saying bad words. So, I thought uh, that was an all right I'll one. give you the, uh, the, I'll give you the speech. You can say, uh, uh, Catboy Goblin's a real dick. He acts like a jerk. Uh, but I can't say anything referring to his anatomy. Mm. Isn't that mm. odd? You yeah. can say the word, but you mm. can't say it in that context. So it's okay. It's a fleeting thing. That, yeah. 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 Uh, do you do drugs? No. no. Did you? Totally sober. Oh, yes. really? Yeah. How, how? What were you doing? What was that? Uh, I haven't had a drug or a drink since April 2015. Oh, that's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty solid. Mm-hmm. It's so weird. Uh, all the comics seem to go into it pretty hard, and then all of a sudden, all become sober. Yeah, most of them, and it's very strange. We're you know surrounded by alcohol, talking yeah. like minoxidil, and like <laughs> you know how to make us not bald anymore instead of like you know I got this coke from blah blah you know, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's for the best, and uh, I really, uh, I mean, I have no choice if I drink. Yeah, everything is goes that what away. it was? That's drinking? Like, that's that's almost like a gift to where the second I put alcohol in my body. Everything in my life goes bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when I, 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 you know, it's like most people do yoga and they do downward dog. When I drink, it's a downward spiral. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah. And I'm just like sweating and it's yeah. terrible and it's, uh, it's no good for anyone. I wish though that I could have one drunk night with Bobby Kelly. Like I wish he, mm. I wish he could have one more good. You're the little sober devil night. on the shoulder. Well, no, I don't think he. Mm. I, I've jokingly said to him, "Let's do shots tonight." But oh, as a joke, but I would God. never be the guy. <laughs> that was terrible. Joke. Are you kidding me? Just what's, a the bad, what's the funny joke there? <laughs> if he would have gone Here's for a it, joke, you trust me as a friend. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> if he went to go take it, I'd smack it out of his hand. I would not let him do it. But, yeah. uh, but he, but he would be fun, and I guarantee we'd either get in a fight with each other or we'd go beat somebody else up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I mean, I I was, you know, waking up in, you know, on the street with broken (laughs) bottles around me covered in blood. I'm like, is it mine or someone else's? Now now I know you and Joe would get along. Oh. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Joe. (laughs) You'd have some different stories. And I stayed away from... (laughs) Uh, Uh, Roosters. (laughs) How many podcasts you do? Just the one? With Uh, Jordan? Yeah. 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 And is that successful financially for you? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's going well, yeah. I don't know how much yeah. those I don't... Uh, we have a seems- Patreon, and, you know, it's on YouTube, so you, you yeah. know, Google ads, but they demonetize us for so many different things. Because you it's like, talk about subject matter? Or- yeah, but it's like, we they don't even tell you, so then, like, you hear through the grapevine, like, you're not allowed to cuss within the first 10 minutes, oh, and then yeah. it's like, well, you can't say this within the first five, Yeah, it's, and we don't know, and the second you tell us not to do something, we have to do it, you know, tell me about so... It. We have ads and, um, you know, 
Google and, and uh, Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's 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 great. It's we've only been doing it for two years. No, it's good. It's and, funny. Uh, I've yeah. seen a lot of clips of it. Thanks, I man. I used to be very much against comedian Zoom podcasts. I'd be like, stop. There's too Why? many of you because there was just too many and then most yeah. of them stunk. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden well, it's like the they thing. figured it's like it out. You got to stink to get better. Yeah. You know, you got to do this. Th- you you got to fail and find your thing. And but I also process, didn't want the competition like failing publicly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. True. I, I was like, but I, you got it on lock. You're like the, the mayor of Tampa. I'm the last one. I'm the you last. I'm the last. This, this is, is like this the is over, radio over. that you do. You what, know, to get what, down here. Who else? What other radio do you do? Uh, Jim and Sam. Oh, wait, oh, yeah. Tell me about the country. I want to know who the good radio shows are. Bro, I've done so many. But who I, the good ones are? I don't know. The ones I you don't remember. remember. You, yeah. Calta. Hey! That's and you I said remember. it right. Yeah. That's who I remember, you know? I just wonder. I'm never. I'm not really, like, uh, jealous, but I always want to know, like, who the other good shows are. Everybody says Todd and Tyler. Huh? Where, where, yeah, they're, like, in where Nebraska or something. They're syndicated, but they're, like, out oh, of wait. Like, did I do Todd and Tyler in Winnipeg? Are they no, in Winnipeg? I don't think so. That was a different different Todd country. And Tyler. Yeah. yeah. Um, and who else? Elliot in DC. Everybody likes Elliot. Huh. And who am I? Bob missing? and Tom. Are they still nobody big? likes Bob and Tom? Really? Everybody they says were they, big though, but yeah. nobody likes them. They're like right. we have to do Bob and Tom because they're on a lot of stations, but yeah. they stink huh. and they make us write out material before no. we go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, then uh, what? Tom died. They didn't die. I think he quit. Oh, I thought he died. One oh. of the one of them quit, and they still call it the Bob and Tom Show. The Siegfried and Roy. Of- exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Terrible. <laughs> ah, All so I know is that you're you're the guy. You got to do Calta in the morning. Only here. Down here. Just here. Yeah, yeah, but that's great. Yeah, no, no, it's you good. Know? I like it. It's I fantastic. Like it. Jay Moore I- told me that one time years ago. He's like, you know, if you're not coming on your show, you're not doing the club. And I go, what does that mean? And they, he goes. If you can't get on your show to promote your, their appearances, chances are they won't book you at the club. I said, oh, he goes, you should know that. That's very powerful. And I go, well, I will I will now use that for to keep you going. You had to have known that. It was a long time ago. Long now time I know ago. it. Now oh, I know okay. it. Yeah. yeah. Although BT sometimes doesn't seem to care at all. He's like... Uh, he, I'm like too distracted by his perfect wife. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like BT. And can we get hog is, he <laughs> yeah, right? Big, old Big Thunder doesn't care about nothing. <laughs> I go BT. Can we get this guy on the show? He goes, I don't know. I'll ask. And I go, all right. Yeah, that's good. All I know is that you're the guy down here, and I want to be the guy in the villages. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what nice. I want to be. Nice. Yeah. You know? I went to the villages one time. Really? My son had a football tournament there, and it was like twelve hours a day, and. I just dropped him off in the morning and then was like, all right, let's see what happens in the villages. There was nothing. It was, I ended up going to a bookstore, buying Tom Segura's book and sitting in my car and reading it. I was like, this stinks. Do you know about the loofahs in the oh, villages? Yeah. Huh? On the golf carts. So, you know, the little loofahs like in the uh, shower yeah. and stuff, different colors mean different things. Yeah. Oh, like, like the they're... bandanas for gays in the 80s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the different cruising color, culture. Yeah, the different color loofahs are mm-hmm. like uh, they're uh, you know swappers or swingers or do yeah, whatever. Pineapples mean uh, you're swingers. Yeah. Yeah. Watchers. Mm-hmm. Watchers. Oh yeah. People Joe just knows. Like to watch. Mm-hmm. Joe, Joe. Joe is a watcher. Oh my oh, goodness. Puts his watch that. inside you. Yeah. There's a <laughs> Here comes a <laughs> Rolex. <Rolex-box. laughs> Christopher Walken. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bad news. I got a diver's watch. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, yeah. There's there's an app called Field at E E L D. And it's for people that are involved in the lifestyle right. that they call it. Right. So it's a lot of married people or like poly people, or we're looking to add a third, or you know, we're ethically non-monogamous, but you know, I'm partnered but dating solo, blah yeah. blah. And, you know. Well, Tampa's like number one swinger city, right? Yeah. Tampa's I right. played Naples and I hooked up with a swinger couple uh-huh. and i told her to leave the guy at home <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <not my time. laughs> you know every time i've i've done like uh three so like i've cucked the guy yeah, yeah and yeah. it's just so funny because i look like when i orgasm i go get zooks so <laughs> <laughs> it's just very funny to have someone uh, like that that's you, like the yeah. bull cucking you uh, <laughs> i gotta tell you you do look like right now with that hat on like you used to pitch for the phillies in the 70s oh that's a great <laughs> the mustache that's that. all yeah. i want that's yeah. all i want wait a second so how did you did you find it through the app when you were in naples bro they've it was from my show they just came at you afterwards yeah 
Yeah. And and did the guy want to be with you too, or did he? No, just he wanted say, to hear about it later. Oh, uh, see, I don't have in me, man. I mean, that's you want to be there? No, no, uh, no, I don't want to be there. I but wanna... it's a, that's the thing. It's like I'm tired of doing that stuff. Yeah. It's like cool, and then you're like, well, what? What am I? Do? I should have a family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? Like, Families what aren't am I all doing? that great. Yeah. You know, but I'm I'm definitely more geared toward like you got to knock my socks off now for me to be like, yeah, let's do this. But I, it's it's just too much effort too. What's and worse? then a lot of them want you to be like the entertainer. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And then like you're sitting there afterwards just like making funny comments, watching they forensic would files. Yeah, you know, yeah. like who? What's worse, do you think, uh, you having to go through that like the next day realizing, you know, maybe, or that guy has to look at your picture online and go, that's the guy who banged my wife last night. I yeah, but I think that's part of the thing. Like, I, I think in that lifestyle and culture, if you're into that, then that's like a badge of honor. It's you a know? weird thing to be into, I think. I, yeah, I mean, it's not for me, mm-hmm. you know? Um, I my, also feel like I, the guy is judging my performance if he's watching. Oh, he wasn't watching. Oh, oh He was you, at home oh, and wanted to hear about it. Oh, oh, did you have to tell him? No, no, she, told, she him. told him. Oh, so you got to We're not playing everything. Chinese telephone. What are you talking about? <laughs> you don't know how any of this works. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm very much a novice to this. My wife is, no, uh, is very pretty. Yeah. Uh, many women have said that they would have threesomes and she's not into it. And I feel like that's been very lost. That would be fantastic. Yeah. And she's like, no, thank you. Um, and I have no interest in having another guy around. If yeah. for, any, for any reason. I know. Yeah. So, I know. Yeah. I, I, I just don't plain old marriage. have that in me mm-hmm. to be like uh yeah, and and my lifelong best friend he i take him on the road with me he's not a comic his wife left him and he just had a lot of free time so <laughs> he would wow. come out with me and like sell my merch with me and every it's it's the best it's yeah. like you know we'd we'd go on the he'd come to like seattle and we'd you know rent a lambo and go to kirk cobain's house <laughs> you know? it was the best see that's fun but he like is totally into that stuff yeah and he was married for so long, and now he's entering this world of like, I just had a threesome with two women, and Uh-oh. they're lesbians, and <laughs> one of them just wanted a back rub yeah. to talk about how they love Trump. He's like, it's amazing, I love it. You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, we play in a band, and uh, no way. Oh yeah, when, and when the show's over, everybody just assumes that we're fighting off groupies, and usually it's me and Pete sharing a hotel room. You got That's any, the best. You got any tums over there? <laughs> I would infinitely rather do that and like play Nintendo Switch with yeah. my lifelong friend hanging out, yeah, or like getting into an argument or going to get late night food than just have to have some not transactional but just some fleeting right. experience with someone. Right. I, I, I think I'm I I'm looking for a connection now. I hear you. you I know? totally hear you. Uh, this is Ian. Now I don't know how to say it. Ian. Ian. Finance. But you nailed it. Finance. Look at you. Uh, Ian yeah. is going to be. When, I don't even know when you're there. Is it just tonight? I'm at Tampa Side Splitters. All weekend. All weekend. Oh, that's yeah, good. tonight, two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. Who is he with? Uh, I don't know that person. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm seeing maybe great. I just don't know. I, 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 um, I know that my. Uh, yeah, do you know the feature and headliner or feature and MC's names? I'm the headliner. Jesus. Mm <laughs> hmm. I need more calls. Lee Ian Fidance. Yeah, it's <laughs> and uh, and my my Starbucks barista also does comedy. Kevin, really? So every once in a while, I'll roll through and he'll be like, "I'm featuring for whatever at Wesley Chapel this weekend." I'm like, "All right, Let's cool." Get Kevin on the uh, show. Uh, yeah, Kevin's great. I always bring Starbucks for the staff for the it, at for the, the comedy con. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's got to be expensive. How many people is that? I get uh, one of those traveling Joes. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I bring that. So if your Starbucks guy could come, they'll save me some money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's, I heard this guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know those guys are so good that when the hurricanes come and Starbucks has to close now and they give me one of those big giant things to take home. Really? Yeah. One of those things like that in office. Would, wow. Would, would, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I have it. Sounds like Kevin's addiction. more than just a barista. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get Kevin to bang hey, my wife, Michael, we'd be great shape. I got you this coffee. <laughs> oh, Kevin is all man. Thank you, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what will you do while you're in town? Anything anything fun? Or will you be on Feld? Dude, field? I I uh I'll do anything. Man, I I whenever I play towns, I like to 
be like a little tourist or you know get into some sort of activity i love activities this is a sober guy you have to have activities yeah, 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 yeah. you'll fit right or in down in Ebor. living Ebor in, in the hotel in a dark room sad so i no, have you to got, get so, out so go yeah, we got plenty of things to do here uh i think is that flute hog thing this weekend oh i don't know well, there's a great music festival in town called Hammer and Nails yeah, Fest. Yeah, I'll be there Saturday night. Bro, I, that's like cutting into my audience. What uh, is that? Because my crowds are like a bunch hardcore. of hardcore kids and everything. Yeah. And the, there are a lot of great bands in town. So yeah. I, I, the people have been messaging me and saying they're going to this and then coming to my late shows. But what is that? What is this? It's a hardcore festival uh, Friday and Saturday. Like metal bands? Uh, Death no. Before Dishonor, uh, Death Madball. Before Dishonor, yeah. Madball, Haywire, yeah. Vietnam, Cold Steel. It's going to be great. Wow. Go during the day. Our live shows at Tampa Side Splitters. <laughs> what do you listen to? That is that your music? Oh, yeah. Really? Yes. That's too much for me. I'm a, no. del- I'm a delicate flower. That's too it, loud. I, I got to go into the, into the pit and swing my arms and really? stage dive and knock someone in the the jaw and then uh, pick them up and go are you okay <laughs> i'm sorry sensitive alpha coming through i have i have a reputation for uh for i'm an optimistic liar like i say I, like i say i want to come to your show tonight and then i there's no way i'm going but not because i don't want to oh, no, that's go. just a liar <laughs> no no no, no because <laughs> don't judge it up with a, <laughs> my true feeling is i know, would really I'm like a to go liar look at you but Wait, uh, what bands are you excited to see I'm going to see Death Before Dishonor and Madball. Yes, Ball. Boston okay. Hardcore. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Dude, you got to get into Haywire. They just put out a new EP. They're Boston Hardcore. Okay. They're I'll great. check them out. And this sure. band called Risk. Awesome Boston Hardcore. I like it. I yeah. like it. Too I'm loud. in. Too loud. Carmen, yeah. Yeah. can you play Haywire for us? Is it dirty? Will they scream curse words? No. All right, let me see if I can pull it out. I, I could do it, Carmen. Death Before Dishonor definitely swears. Dude. I don't want a lot of other stuff. Uh, Haywire. Yeah, there's a... There's a song called Love Song that's really good, but also they put out a new song called Feeling Depressed. And it sounds uh, like they're writing from bad, the point of view boy. of my brain. We have uh, Metallica Haywire, coming through. 617. We have Metallica coming through. Check that in the and, Spotify. And uh, uh, they're doing the two night show, you know, Friday and Sunday. And on Sunday, they have uh, Suicidal and Pantera oh. opening for Dude, them. that I am trying to go see that. Yeah. I want to see that so bad. Yeah. Seeing Suicidal would be amazing, especially because Rob's going to play bass with them. I've seen Suicidal so many times. Oh, is he really? In such little cl- cl- places as big as this room. It's amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Evidently, there was an 80s band called Haywire, too. Really? Yeah, yeah it's not them. This is Haywire 617. Okay, hold on. Um, I found it. All right, yeah. play a little, Carmen. Carmen, okay. does, Carmen doesn't like this devil. Get music ready either. for the dump button. Uh, oh, God, really? No, I don't well, know. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> Life half lived? Play, uh, play it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Oh, that's not on the top one, though. Now you can oh, go search it. Now you got homework Poser to do. Disposer. That's got Colin of Arabia, another Boston hardcore band. Oh my God, you're all Sorry. over it. I, I'm I'm so nerdy when it comes to music of any types. Yeah, I love it so much. Me too, but not this. What this do you like? Uh, one, one you, look, you look like your music sounds like a Monster Energy drink that just got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Nickelback? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if a goatee had a guitar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. I do like Creed. I yeah. listen to Creed. Love Creed. Yeah. See, Love. I don't. I did this. What music. if? What oh, if? That's the best song. What if? Uh, ah. right. oh, Come on, yeah. Carmen, hit it. What do we got? Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is Born of Rotten Earth. That's yeah, too scary. I was in for the music. Too, too scary for the lyrics. Too early. Too scary. Yeah. Mm. What music. about Boston Boot Boys <laughs> or March of the White Trash is by that, Haywire? Is that their songs? Haywire Six One Seven. Yeah. yeah. Boston Boot or Trash. Conservative Military Image. They're a great new band. Well, they're not new, but you, know. <laughs> you are a so, nerd, man. This yeah. is great. Suffer uh, No Fools is a great band out yeah. of Detroit. Mm, Listen, you should out. be plugging your gigs, not their gig. Mm. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Five shows, Tampa side splitters. Don't Jesus. go to this musical festival. It's terrible. It's, terrible. And awesome. it's too violent. No one's gonna scream at you in a devil's voice at Ian's show. I do the screaming yeah, in a devil's that's, voice. That's fine. Yeah. So Ian's show will be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. What yeah. I'm saying is Saturday night I would like to come to the show. That's not that's an optimistic lie because I'm saying I would like to go. That's the true part. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go, but if I am I, I would like to do that. I have not seen you do stand up live, and I would like to do that. Well, 
I know where you live. Mm-hmm. So you can come here and do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no, no. If you don't come, there's going to be a problem. Listen, I'm going to put on some A wire and I'm going to get jacked up. <laughs> <all right? laughs> I'm, not thre- uh, yeah. I'm not threatened by you. You should come. There's five shows tonight, Thursday, 8 p.m. Not Friday. five shows tonight. Fri- no, one you show said five tonight. Show no, tonight. five shows this weekend. One, one show, show tonight, tonight two shows PM, tomorrow. Two shows tomorrow, 7 30, 10, two Saturday, 8 and 10. 960-1197 or sidesplitterscomedy.com to make your reservation. You can pick your table and your tickets and your whole deal, and I promise you, you will love uh, uh, Ian. He's a very funny guy. And, yes, so Saturday, I'm doing something I've never done before. What? I'm going pheasant hunting mm-hmm. in the daytime. What? And I feel like the guy's... Why are you going to shoot poor Joe? I'd <laughs> 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 pheasant hunting. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, I mean, come on. I'm going pheasant hunting, and then, but Wait, I think that's over pretty early. What What time? Well, I, I'm like at 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, what, why don't you bring me? You want to go pheasant hunting? I would love to go it's, pheasant hunting. It's like hunting. 400 bucks a pop. It's very expensive. What? <laughs> Do you yeah. know how good my podcast is? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Wow. I mean, what are you talking about? He just priced you out. BT's paying me good for the weekend. Uh, right. Let's go. I, I got $50 cash in my pocket Every, right now. Everybody's always complaining about BT pays them so low. Yeah. So I never know. <laughs> Wait, I have to look at the deal again. <laughs> Wait a minute. I might have been looking at Pittsburgh and said, damn. Oh, crap. You got to get a vest and a hat like Mike got. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my, s- my, dude, my, my, I love shooting guns so much. Yeah. I'm an anomaly yeah. because I love guns and I'm, you know, kind of gay. You're right. <laughs> and so it's like I, you know, I'm a new kind of queer. Yeah. You know? Listen. Yeah. Queers are guns. Fun. It's I love the that best. band. You know, um, yeah. Listen, so I lo- what? What are you shooting? Well, I'm going to be shooting a 12 gauge shotgun at the yes. pheasant. Strager, what kind? Uh, no, I have a uh, uh, Beretta. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good. Oh, I am <laughs> surgical with the shotgun. Are you kidding me? I'm a really good shot. This is my hurricane gun. Every town I go to, what are you in the Terminator? <laughs> what is this? Are you kidding me? Every town I go to that it's where it's legal to shoot guns, I go to a gun range. You should go. You got a, a great gun shooting. range here, and it's not far from the club at all. You know, if there are any ladies out there that want to go shooting, or kind of gay guy. <laughs> yeah, but I have a certain type of guy. Yeah. What do you like? Gay black ballerinas. Oh, <laughs> that is very specific. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you like black a, dancers. You like a uh, a feminine man. Yes, you do. That's the thing. I love feminine. So, right. like the trans women I date, feminine. Although I do like a strong jawline, but uh, <laughs> the guys, fe- feminine. You're hilarious. Thank you. I I said to my wife the other day. I said, um, Gwen Stefani. Yes. So beautiful. Yes. She saw out. Would you make out with her? And my wife said, no. What? And I go, why? And she goes, what guy would you make out with? And I go, none of them. And she goes, exactly. And I went, oh. You that's... wouldn't make out with a guy? No. Nah. See, I'm trying to think a celebrity I'd make out with. Like, I find celebrities like David Beckham, I think, is gorgeous. I was just going to say David mm. Beckham. <laughs> He's he has just became best friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. But I don't want to touch him. I would like a David Beckham or like a trans Meg the Stallion. <laughs> That would be my idea. <laughs> You're not happy with Megan the Stallion and woman. Oh, She's got to have a package. I, yeah. Dude, Meg the Stallion is my number one. You know crush. her on that level? You call I, her Meg? No. <laughs> yeah. 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 Me and Meg. Yeah. You know, I love her. Yeah. She is so I like her gorgeous. Too. She who, is who is the, the one uh, that I said was in the commercial? The can you handle my nasty or whatever it is? Oh, Tanashi. Tanashi. Yeah. What? Have you seen her? No. Yeah, she's, she's new. Sounds like we're ordering. Galvin and I fell in. <laughs> Galvin and I fell in love with the same boy one time. What? Uh, Be he, careful. Yeah. He, <laughs> How he you was, phrase that? He was singing on uh, on American Idol, and he uh, William Hung. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> he was a young Hispanic boy uh, who looked just like Jessica Alba. We both fell in love with him, and now he's a full trans woman. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah we yeah. should look at that for research. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, I'll go, I would only go take you shooting if we can get you and a black ballerina man to come with us. Then we'll have a good time. Let's do it. APB out on the wire, <laughs> dude. <laughs> so I don't know about this pheasant hunting. I've never done it before. But yeah, explain I have to, this. So I have you're going to drive at 8 a.m. out? Uh, yeah, out of town. What? I have to How far? Probably like an hour and a half. And then when you get there, they put you on this flatbed truck and drive you out to yes. the field where they do it. Mm-hmm. And uh, each person stands at a, at a different stand, and then the birds fly over, and you 
shoot them. I go skeet shooting all the time. Yeah, I yeah. Love well, if you're good shooting. at skeet shooting, there's I'm also good skeet, skeet shooting, shooting here too, dude. Oh, man, there's a lot of things for you to do here. Well, someone's got to take me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I don't have if a you're car. if you're a girl or a guy and you'd like to take Ian uh, to shoot, I'm looking at kind of both right now. Yeah, you, yeah, Mikey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you come here at the weekend that this guy actually has things planned. If dude, I didn't have any plans, I, no, I, I'm I want to hop in the back bed of the truck. Let me Tuck find me out. Let me find pocket. out. Let me find out. I want to shoot a pheasant. I don't even know what one is. Yeah, yeah. and you could eat them. That's the whole thing. Really? Yes. I've never shot something that I've eaten before. I I, have. I went. To we had Amish family friends growing up. Right. And I used to have Amish Thanksgiving. Uh-huh. What is the difference? My grandparents are friends with an Amish family, right. and we used to go up there and have Thanksgiving with them, and we'd have to shoot the turkeys. Oh, but I was in fifth grade and I was a bad shot, so I didn't so shoot didn't any other. turkeys. Yeah. My experience uh, with the Amish people in Sarasota is they make fantastic food. They are oh, great at pies and all amazing. the other things. Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing. So I shot a boar one time, and I ate that. Really? Yes. Were you scared? Was it coming at you? It was. Listen. That must have been f- terrifying. So it was the first thing I ever shot, and it was like Jurassic Park. It, it was making noises. Ah. It was a thunderstorm. I shot it right when the lightning hit. It was amazing. And then when I went down from the tree stand to go check it, uh, it charged at me because uh, I had not killed it, and I didn't know. So then I pulled out my nine millimeter and started shooting my nine millimeter. Are you serious? And then it you kept switch going. switch weapons like you were I, in Call of Duty? My dad goes, I got, my dad was in the tree stand. I got to the bottom and I, and I start walking out there and my dad goes, Michael. I go, why? He goes, it's gone. I go, what do you mean it's gone? I just saw it die. And he, I start walking and all of a sudden it's running at me. Was this a Pine Barrens episode from Sopranos? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is insane. So I pull out my gun and I start shooting at it and I'm not, I'm just shooting in the dark at, you know, this thing coming at me and then all of a sudden my father pulls out his 38 and he starts shooting over my head and, I'm, and then pete comes out from another tree stand and goes what is going on i'm hearing three different i'm hearing three different he was in a different tree stand and he's like i'm hearing three different calibers of guns going off it was insanity did he say that in the moment yes that's he's a very like, feminine he came, he's like, i'm hearing three different calibers michael stop it uh, it was it was crazy man but we ended up getting it and wow uh, and then you had to eat it because you killed it yeah filled with lead Filled with yeah, lead. really. I know three, and also that's I, another band I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn out we couldn't eat the whole thing; it had cancer. Ooh, how'd you know? A butcher was cutting it open. I happened to have a uh, cousin who's a butcher who was here, and he took it all apart and cut it open. And he was like, "Can't this is all like cancer?" Oh, the what? fact that it had any cancer, I yeah. wouldn't have eaten any. Well, you had to eat it. A little bit of it. You had to eat the good part. God, that's so. like a biopsy on the spot. Right? That's so Isn't that wild. Crazy? Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling if you lived here, we would do some fun stuff together. Dude, if I lived here, it would be insane. Like, I feel like you're one of those guys where I can call you and go every, like, I call you Saturday and be like, hey, you want to go do this? And yes. Like, yes, I do. Yes. Like, we're going to go skateboarding one weekend. I am the end guy. Up in the Dude, hospital. Ellis taught me how to skateboard. Did he really? Yeah. I skateboarded with him and Tony Hawk. It was amazing. That is, They it, both taught me how to drop in on a quarter pipe. That's amazing to me. And I did it. Did you make out with Ellis? No. Would not you? my type. He's not too, too white. Uh, too Aus- too Australian. <laughs> <laughs> you know? No, I. He's become a dear friend. He's great. I like. I'm him. such a fan of. Yeah, his. he's yeah. I, he's very intriguing. He's, he's so a interesting. interesting character, yeah. and uh, he's got a lot of great stories and very funny. I, I saw him in L.A. I just happened to be at the comedy store one day. And he came in on the Dirty Show, and I'd already had him on this show a couple of times, and he was always good. But man, watching him do stand up yeah. and tell stories about some stuff he's done—he's a great very, storyteller. Very funny. Yeah. Very funny. Yeah. All right. Well, it's great to see you. Great to see I you. Appreciate you getting up and coming in here in the morning. Always. Thank you. Uh, go see Ian. He's going to be at Side Splitters tonight through Saturday. Tonight, one show. Two Friday, two Saturday. Nine six zero eleven ninety seven or Side Splitters Comedy. While you're there, ask for Big Thunder. Tell him you love him. <laughs> Tell him you love him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, promo uh, code, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and I listen to me. I am I'm going pheasant hunting that somebody got for me as a gift for my yes. birthday. If there I'm gonna find out if there's room. Because I can, think it would be oh, great to have you there. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Awesome. No pressure and yeah. no pressure to come Saturday night. If you No, come, I want to come Saturday. If, if we especially if we go pheasant hunting. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I'll talk I'm, about it. I'm bringing stage. my pheasant right to the club. I'm gonna have <laughs> deep fry in the Dude, back. I'm bringing a gun to the Forget club. Forget your <laughs> 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 I'll talk to that. Shoot stuff in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, and plug the podcast too. Oh, B and Ian with Jordan every Wednesday on YouTube, Patreon.com/slash B and Ian Pod. It's me and uh, 
my best friend Jordan Jensen. Will you talk about me comic. on the show this week? Absolutely. I mean, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna listen to it now. Looking Especially for if you go pheasant hunting. That's yeah, true. You know, you know, have a whole segment. It. You know. Yeah. Think of the clip. Don't shoot me for uh, for content. Can I tell you? I am like a, I'm a different person when it comes to guns. I am so into gun safety and being safe and careful. And I've I've taken friends shooting, and yeah. I like really over the shoulder. What them. do you like to shoot? Handguns, machine guns. I like a handgun and a shotgun. Yeah, simple. You know, I love a Glock 17. Did you ever shoot a, uh, a judge? A judge is a handgun shotgun. Oh, yeah, I love it. I thought you were talking. No, about no, it. <laughs> in a court of law, a magistrate. I, I, mean, I used to get, I used to get in a lot of trouble, but I mean, it never. I stabbed a lawyer once. once. Yeah. I stabbed a lawyer once. Yeah. Never shot a judge, dude. Yeah. I got locked up like two months ago, and uh, for what? I it caught me with a switchblade in the subway, and uh, did you pull it on someone? No, no, it was a random search. Oh, so really? Happened, I, I, I had one in my pocket, and you got and, locked uh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my call in jail was the comedy seller to tell him I couldn't make my spot. <laughs> yeah. How long were you in? Uh, like 24, 20, 22 hours. Oh, they put a whole day? You had to spend a whole day for a knife? Yeah, it sucked. But uh, because of the gorgeous liberal DAs in New York, right. it was catch and release. Yeah, so you, you know, were in Or else, out. you know, it was, a, it was a class four felony weapon charge with uh, intent to to use and they just literally the lawyer was like hey f first of all when the, when i saw my lawyer in the cage he was like mr finance i just want to say i'm a huge fan and uh i want to get you out of jail and I was oh, like, yeah let's great. do this you know yeah. and then walking in the chain gang from the from the jail cell up to court all these cops are like yeah. Are you a comedian? Yeah. Like, Ian, what are you doing here? I was like, I got jammed up in a charge. How do you <laughs> prove intent for the guy just carrying a knife? Like, well, you're in look, you're, I, it could I'm, be self. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I could have gotten off with a ticket, but I really started mouthing off. Uh, I got what I got, and I deserved it. Yeah. You know? But boy, oh boy, when they say stop resisting, <laughs> holy crap, did they really put your arm in a chicken wing? It was wild. Dude, but, now uh, I hang out. I want to hang out with you more now. Oh, uh, yeah. Now you're a bad boy. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, it was uh, I the, having the lawyer like recognize me was amazing. That's so funny. And I just have to stay out of trouble for six months and it goes right, away. He'll be all right. So it's not no more good. sweet. Who's carrying a sweet? What are you, uh, a Puerto Rican from the 70s? Who carries a switchblade? See, <laughs> <laughs> his last words to uh, the other girl was adios. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. By the way, you're really showing your feminine side when you called him a bad boy. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, hey, you're right. I didn't even catch that. I, I thought for sure there would be more made out of it yeah. when I said it. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, well, we're zesty. <laughs> I, I, we may have pheasants Saturday night at the uh, at the club. If if you don't come, I'll bring you a pheasant. I would love that. I would love nothing more. Then for you to show up Saturday night, Side Splitters Tampa with a dead the 10 bird. PM show with a string yeah. with like seven dead birds. Yep, yep. The same way my uncle had a bunch of ears as a necklace. <laughs> I want you to do that from Vietnam. <laughs> uncle and Predator? <laughs> no, he was, he was in Vietnam. Vietnam. I got you. God rest your soul, Danny. <laughs> and uh, I would love to see you just in camo. That vest, like Bog my Bogla vest. Yeah, yeah. With and a string full of pheasants. Do you know how, amazing. You know how happy I was? that vest came in through Amazon yesterday. I was like, I can't wait to put this on. You just got it yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I've never been pheasant hunting you're before. You're playing cosplay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, it's not Comic-Con. You're shooting things. Listen to me. I will use that vest for other things. I have uh, I have never been to hunting. what? Park buses? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying, yeah. like, uh, I, I may... I don't know. But what, for I, your for your sexual crossing guard role play <laughs> with Kevin from the Starbucks. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to go to Starbucks today. Uh, go see Ian Finance at Sidesputters, sidesputterscomedy.com. We gotta take a break. We got football picks and Martin Grammatica next. It's a Mike Calta show. This is one oh two five the bone. I'm rushing the week already, man. I'm all over the yeah, place. Yeah, right. Does, it doesn't easy. it feel like Friday? It does. it does. We should take off tomorrow. All right. And Okay. <laughs> and everybody's in. Nobody wants. Nobody wants to work anymore. We do work. Uh, we That's do. the thing. We do, Carmen. Oh, yeah. We work so hard, Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is time for me to connect with Martin Gramatica, who is not here. He's usually here in the studio, but his daughter. I don't know if I'm if I'm allowed to say she heard she heard her got hurt in football or whatever she was playing. 
and uh, and he is being a good dad and staying with her, but he's connecting with us. Martin? Hey, can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? I hear you perfect. Well, this works out hey, great. Wow, How's how your daughter that? doing? She's doing well. She had um, uh, surgery yesterday on her collarbone. She broke it last week, and oh, they, yeah. they had to fix it. So, um, yeah, she, she, she talks like their mom, so she'll be fine. I was going to say, more, worse than injury than you ever got. I know, and I know. I told her that I, I don't want her to catch up to me with my surgery. So I said, <laughs> one and done. Be, be one and done. It's not fun to watch your kid go through that. No, especially your daughter. Like, if it was my son, I'd be like, oh, toughen up. It's just a <laughs> collarbone or whatever it is. But, but with, uh, are you in the bathroom? <laughs> no, no, no. Kitchen, kitchen. Oh, kitchen. Well, let me see that house. Yeah. I want to see the turn around a little bit. Oh, you got a nice. Hey, wait. What do you got? Oh. How many refrigerators you got in there? No, just one, man. Right. Just one. Just I, check. That's, a, that's a stove. That's a stove. <laughs> <laughs> and here's uh, the fun part. That's a little bar right there. Oh, that's, 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 that's nice. That's my spot. That's where I fall asleep watching all the games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. It did look like he was taking a dump. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. I, I thought you were sitting on the toilet. I thought those were towels behind you. Yeah, it like, looks like it. Look yeah, at the right. angle that I had the iPad here. <laughs> you really good. had it as a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Martin Gramatica joins us every week for football picks as does uh, Ian Beckles. And then, of course, we talk about um, lifeguard imaging where Martin has been working. I heard your commercial before. Years, right? What is it going on? Four years? Four years now, yes. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got an email from a lady the other day. I won't mention her name. She sent me a copy of her heart scan and how important it is for people to go get scanned and checked out and how easy it was. And uh, what, a, uh, what a great thing it was for us to give her a heads up about. So thank you from on behalf of our listeners. No, it's incredible. I mean, the things that we're finding and the the amount of listeners that are coming in. So, we're, so we're excited to take care of them, and uh, I'm happy that they're coming in. It's it's important. It's, it, without our health, we don't have anything. So, I'm glad they're coming in. Yeah, well, I had to tell you also. I don't like this angle. You look like you're in such good shape. You're making. What, what do you want me to do? You want me to turn off I the know. camera? <laughs> <laughs> Usually, when you, when you come in here, I'm like, oh yeah, little guy. Yeah. And now yeah. I'm looking at you. Look all muscular in the shoulders, it's as if he was a pro athlete. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you know. I don't like this at all. Uh, I, I practice this a lot. Though I figure out which angle I look better at. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, uh, did you uh, did you give Martine the results of last week? Um, I did not. I heard. I, w- I was listening. Yeah, I was listening. Yeah, I was oh, listening. Okay. So I know I didn't win, but oh. I didn't lose. Yes, correct. That's okay. It's all you want to do is not lose on the show. Who is That's leading right. in the losing, Carmen? Okay, so right now this um, the standings in last place with one win, two losses. Mike Kelta with. <laughs> Next, with two wins, one loss, Martine, Ian, and myself. Oof, three losers. With three wins, two losses, Gio. With three wins, one loss, Joe. Oh. And the new leader of this year's football picks with three wins, zero losses, Galvin. Yeah, right. you knew it was coming. All right, well, it's time to change that up. Let's do our picks for week 10. Here we go. I'm telling you, Hoppy would be way tighter on that board. Uh, I'll go first, and we'll go around the room. We'll end with Carmen. You got week 10. You got the first game, the Bengals at the Ravens. I will take the Ravens. Pat, Pat. I'm going Ravens, Michael. Galvin. Ravens. Martine. Ravens. Gio. Ravens. Carmen. Ravens. The Giants at the Panthers in Germany. I will take the Giants. Joe. Giants. Galvin. Giants. Martin. Panthers. Ooh. Mm. Uh, Geo. Giants. Uh, Carmen. Giants. The Patriots at the Bears. I will take the Bears. Joe. Bears. Galvin. Bears. Martin. Bears. Geo. Bears. Carmen. Bears. The 49ers at the Buccaneers. Four losses in a row. Monday Night Football. Terrible overtime loss. Would you have wanted to go for two, Martin? Listen, I don't want. I, I I was with Mike Allstar the other day and said what he should have done is got all the captains there, say what are we on, what are we going to do as a team, and then whatever the guys decided, you should go with it. Looking at it now, you said oh you should have gone for yeah. it, but now you know if it doesn't go, you, you can never win in that situation. I know if it, if you would have went for it, everybody would be like why'd you go for it? Yeah, right. Sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, we got the 49ers at the Buccaneers. I'm going to say the Buccaneers cannot lose this game. I'm going to take the Bucks. Joe. Buccaneers. Galvin. 49ers love the lights. I'm mm. going 49ers. Uh, Martin? Bucks. Geo? Man. 
Buccaneers. Oh, I think so too. Carmen? Niners. Mm. Uh, Broncos, Chiefs. I will say the Chiefs. Joe? Definitely going Chiefs. Galvin? Chiefs. Martin? Chiefs. Gio? Chiefs. Carmen? Chiefs. Bills at the Colts. Bills? Bills. Galvin? Bills. Martin? Bills. Gio? Bills. Carmen? Bills. Steelers at the Commanders. I will take the Steelers. Pepe. Commanders. Galvin. Steelers. Martin. Steelers. Geo. Commanders. Carmen. Commanders. The Vikings at the Jaguars. Vikings. Joe. Vikings. Galvin. Vikings. Martin. Vikings. Geo. Vikings. And Carmen. Vikings. Falcons at the Saints. Falcons. Joe. Falcons. Galvin. Uh, Cousins will throw for 224 and a half yards, so you don't get the... Uh, no, Falcons. Uh, Martin. Falcons. Uh, Geo. Falcons. Carmen. Falcons. The Titans at the Chargers. Chargers. Joe. Chargers. Galvin. Chargers. Martin. Chargers. Geo. Chargers. Carmen. Chargers. The New York Jets at the Arizona Cardinals. This has got to be it. I will take the Jets. Yeah, pap, pap. Jets. Galvin. Jets. Martin. Jets. Geo. Jets. Carmen. Jets. Eagles at Cowboys. I will take the Eagles. Pap, pap. Eagles. Galvin. Eagles. Martin. Eagles. Geo. Eagles. Carmen. Eagles. Lions at Texans. I will take the Lions. Pap, pap. Lions. Galvin. Lions. Martin. Lions. Geo. Lions. And Carmen. Lions. And then finally, the Dolphins at the Rams. I'm going to take the Dolphins. Pap, pap. Dolphins. Galvin. Rams. Martin. Rams. Geo. Rams. And Carmen. Rams. And that's why I lose. <laughs> uh, Martin Gramatica, thank you very much. You can check out Martin, and you can also get yourself checked out at Lifeguard Imaging. If you give him a call, 813 58 Two five two 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 five eight two five two two two. You tell them you heard about it on this show. They make special appointments for our listeners, so you don't have to wait a month out. And uh, if you want to get your carotid artery checked, and you want to check and make sure that you're not going to have a stroke in your future, you can now do that with Lifeguard Imaging. Make your appointment and get in there and do that. And Martin will greet you. He will sign your uh, merchandise, and he will be nice to you. And um, you can tease him about his losing streak here on the show. He doesn't get mad. The other day I was in the shower washing myself and I saw my number seven Martin uh, tattoo. L one way for loser, seven the other way for Martin. And uh, I, I felt good about it. It did. I was not ashamed. I'm glad I was in the shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of times right. where I think about you. Yeah. Martin, thank you. We will see you next week. Hope your daughter's feeling better. Thank you so much, guys. See you All next right, week. Pal. Thank see you, buddy. He's a great Martin Gramatica. Uh... Carmen. Yes. Do we have anything else to do before we get out of here? No. You ready? No. I just oh. I, I, we, got th- I, we got 30 seconds. Oh, right? oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Let's, we'll, let's do it. What are we doing? Uh, Give them a, a, th- a strong 30. Yeah. <laughs> go. Mike Caldas Show. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> boo. We have not taken any phone calls all day. Good no, morning. We did. We There's did. a reason. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. I got a song for you. Okay. Yeah, Let's see. Yeah. That's I got a new we... song for you. And go. Who's the leader of the club that's made for you and me? D O N A L D T R U N P. Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump. Uh, let us hold his banner high, 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 high. high. Thank Who's you. the leader of All the right, club? All right. We got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Uh, Mike, right. the it show. Well, we got one more. We got one more. Hello? Hey, it's man. Mr. Regimental, man. And that's the way to go. Boom. Thank you very much.